Hey, so I didn't expect this to happen this fast. Um, I just opened up the game. Um, <laughs> click, click. The hard drive is having a heart attack. <laughs> You're not wrong, though. It really do feel a heart attack. <laughs> so uh, I might, I might make some a bunch of 3D models and stuff uh, over the weekend just so I can. Uh, Good enough to uh i can make it get a new hard drive and stuff but also heckin i didn't realize this when you open lies of here uh when you open it it just opens um no remorse just directly in there also ew, welcome everybody how you guys doing what you guys meant to what kind of chaos you guys been causing hmm? welcome back uh, oh, I, 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 I don't think you missed anything, Junior. I think you're good. Also, welcome, Alex. How you been doing? Which kind of chaos you been up to? <laughs> We're all good. I wonder. Actually, I, I was told that Liza P is something similar to, like, a app. I've been, I was told that Heckin' Liza P was something similar to Heckin', uh, like a Souls-like, but with Pinocchio in some way. I don't know how Pinocchio comes into play into this. Um... I, 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 I genuinely, again, I, I don't understand, but also it's awesome to have you back, zombie. It's awesome to have you back. So I do see that you can get a bit of a break here. Again, what kind of, okay. Oh, it's made with Unreal too. Ooh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be really nice. You know what's really cool too? Is that they show your name, like your Xbox name, but, 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 hear me out real quick. They don't show the numbers in your name. Which is really cool because the numbers are automatically assigned uh, like to your Xbox account, which is so nice to not have to worry about. See, like, 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 no numbers. It's so great. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, sure. I I don't even know if I. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta go grab the uh, thing here. There you go. Uh, I gotta go make sure we got the show nonsense. What the hell? Oh, that's right. They want me to go. Oh, there are settings. Oh, cool. So I I guess that wasn't the end intro. Okay, cool. We're good. Oh, it has NVIDIA. No, NVIDIA. What the hell? Off. Yes, thank you. I'm not an a I don't use AMD. The hell you am. You can't just like put me directly into hacking shenanigans here. I got well, whatever. Frame rate limit 60. We're going to move you up to 165 because that's what I normally have my stuff at. Um, Change to 165. We got you here. V-Sync. No, it's fine. Yo, hey guys. Welcome everybody. Um, I was highly recommended to play hacking Liza P. Um, by like everybody in the Discord. <laughs> um, like I was asked to play by like everybody in the Discord, so I was like, you know what, might as well just schedules are a myth anyway, so might as well just go play some Liza P, you know? Um But then again, at the same time, um I have never I don't think I've ever played I think this is a very unique game in the sense of I've never played a game similar to it. Um, unless it's very much they're not a Yes, they are a myth, however. <laughs> As we can like Devil May Cry? Wait, is it actually I've never played me Devil May Cry, but I wanna play it. Um true. I did make a schedule. I can alter it at will. You know what I might actually do? Um, I might just like um have it set so that like I have like my schedules are like an idea of what I wanna do that day, but then it can change during that day. Um, if I decide to change it midway through the day, because like that just, that's been happening all week. And honestly, that might just be my schedules from now on. My schedule is the only thing that like is actually honest about my schedule is when I'm going to go live. <laughs> that's like the only truth to my schedule. Um, also I'm going to be pl playing without a controller. Um, so this will be interesting. I, I don't have a controller to play with because apparently they don't support, um, PS4 controllers. They only support Xbox. So, uh, I am toast. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi. Wait, are they Carlo? Are they actually a? Uh... Can you hear oh, me? I can hear you. I, I can. Oh, ooh, butterfly. Can can I? I want to poke it. Hold on. Can I poke it? Can I poke it? Can I... no? Get back here. I want to poke you. No, no. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> Stop running away. <laughs> I want to poke you. Um, I feel like it'd be kind of like uh, DMC. Interesting. Okay. Honestly, I actually don't know. I was told that it was going to be more like Elden Ring or Dark Souls in that sense, not Devil May Cry. But having it be more like Devil May Cry is interesting. Ooh, I like this character. Wait, I'm trying to figure out. Are they just... Wait. Wait. Hold up. I'm trying to figure out. Hold up. There you go. Um. Oh, butterflies. Do you... <laughs> no, not the butterfly. Not the butterfly. Oh. 
Okay, cool. Voice in the air, you sound very creepy. Also, there's some armor there. I wanna go grab my armor. Let me go grab my armor. Um, can I okay, so I can go rotate the camera. W to see to move. C is no G. Weapon durability. Uh, T is something else. Okay, cool. The hell are you trying to get me to do? Alright, come on, let me run. Let me run. Control left arm of steel. Okay. The hell is that? O okay. Can I pick you up? Investigate. Alright. What do you mean the Gemini is gonna. Huh? Alright, so the Gemini. Oh, wait, hold on. Sophia, Sophia. okay. Please okay. come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. You know, the fact that there's that much, like, that much jam on the floor is concerning. <laughs> like, okay, hold on. Hold on really quick. You guys see how much jam is on the floor, right? Like, that's, like, genuinely concerning. Um, like, at that point, like, look at that. That, there's that, that person had one hell of a bad day. Like, there's, there's no getting out of that. That person had one hell of a bad day. Jesus. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we're gonna hike and keep moving because I, I do not want to dwindle on this. Ah, uh, that's the original writer of the picture. But okay, he's not a good friend. Let's oh, you okay, got you. Oh, Find that's why everybody's saying like about, like, talking about, like, it's like a mix between Pinocchio and Dark Souls. Okay, got you. It's because, like, it mentions the original writer of Pinocchio. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to keep moving. If you keep moving, stop it. Oh, oh ooh, got a sword. Are not safe. Um, I want to be a real bully. <laughs> what do you mean? No. I can oh, okay. helpful on your way to the hotel. Okay. So now that we have a sword. Uh cricket. Okay, path of the cricket, okay. Dexterity and path of strength. Interesting. So we have a choice between the cricket, which is basically just a light, then there's a normal, and then there's a heavy. Okay, okay. I can kind of understand why they would do this. Um what do you guys think we should do? That must be part of the way. Exchanged the sword. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, switch this way. Oh, it tells you. Oh, it does. This is why everybody's saying this is Dark Souls. Oh, uh, you know what? You know, let's do it this way. We're going in blinds. I don't know if this makes it easier or harder, but we're going to do it this way. Oh, the shift is apparently block. Okay, cool. That's apparently. Okay. Okay, so shift is block, which means that there's likely to be parrying. Um, That's going to be my arm. Then we've got two here, and we can keep on moving. And then we've got... This is going to be our attack. And then that's going to be also our attack. Okay, so basically both both sides are our attacks. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we can just not worry about the recipe. Um, by how you play in... Uh, uh, Elden Ring goes... I say heavy. Interesting. You think manda mandatory parrying. That's interesting. Okay, okay. We can we can work with that. We can, we can definitely work with that. I don't think I've ever played a game where it's mandatory to parry, though. Which is gonna be, other than heckin', other than, um, uh, what, what do you call it? The, I think the only game that I've actually played where it's, like, mandatory to parry, um, would be, like, Assassin's Creed or something. But that's because it's, like, Assassin's Creed and parrying isn't necessarily mandatory, it's just that you can use it as a mandatory mechanic. Um, oh, really? Oh, that's true, because you have to build up, um, the parries with heckin' shenanigans here. Yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting about that, yeah. Heckin' parrying in, uh, in, uh, Sekiro is actually mandatory, yeah. You're not wrong. Also, sorry guys, I just moved a bunch of stuff around on my desk because I just realized that my heckin' tracking is all wonk. Out of wonk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. <laughs> okay, I'm using my amp to prop up my GoXLR, which then has my hand tracking on top of that now, which is just the most cursed possible setup that I could have possibly done for this. I'll, I'll post a picture in the Discord later, just the, how cursed it actually is. But my mouse is gonna hit my uh, go XLR left, so we're good. We're okay. Um, actually, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and check. Get, let me through. No, you won't let me through. Why the hell? Okay, I gotta go. I can. The game says sneaky. Uh, it's optional. I'm going guns blazing. Yeah, honestly, not gonna wear. Uh, I'm not. Uh, Nada's not here. Sadly, Steve. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, Nada's not here right now. Um, they haven't been here around for a while, actually. Unless I've just been uh. Okay, got you. <laughs> yeah, Nada's not here right now. They've been, uh, they've been, they have, uh, been away for a while. They haven't been around, uh, recently. So it's okay, it's okay. It's no worries. But it's good that you're checking up on them. Because I can, uh, yeah. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, so. 
Okay, so it very much is. It very much is like the Hecken. Okay. So it, it, it really does feel a lot like Hecken Elden Ring. Okay, cool. I, I can't believe I'm going to be doing this on keyboard and mouse, though. It's going to be weird. Okay, I've never played a Souls-like game on keyboard and mouse, so this will be a one hell of a trip and a half. Uh, what are you guys freaking out about over there? Okay, chesh. Uh, obtain. Uh, Sawtooth Wheel. What the hell is a Sawtooth Wheel here for? Okay, cool, whatever. Just run away. What? What? Okay, wait, hold on, I got a question. What's the background? Like, what, what is, like, the heckin' story with this? Ah, uh, fossils are for HP. Maximum number of times fossils can be used. When Okay, it's literally a soul's like in a nutshell. Okay, sounds good. Um, so there's there's no heckin'. Oh, I see you there. I, I see you there. Okay, so carrying happens to be not a thing. Okay, cool. Um, unless I'm mistaking it. Souls game mixed with the DMC atmosphere. Interesting. I wonder if it's... That actually does make a lot of sense, but also, my god, is this going to be very weird. Okay. Um, we need to get you out of here. There you go. Oh, I can't run, though. There's no, like... There's no proper running. So, the, uh... It just... It feels very weird. How do I parry? How do I parry? I, I just need to... Okay, so there... There really is no parrying. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. So, the parrying is a little weird. It's not necessarily a parry. It's like a... It's it's really weird. It's it's like a parry, but doesn't parry. It makes it so that you don't lose HP when you get hit. Um, which means that you can't stagger enemies and you can't counter kill, which is good to know because the counter killing in games is just the most overpowered thing in existence, genuinely. Um, well, uh, okay. So guarding, you block an enemy is attacked by guarding. The guard is full. Your character will take reduced damage, but if it is, uh, but it will consume stamina. Lose damage will be transferred to guard, uh, to guard regain. Um. Regaining accumulates but gradually decreases over time, but you uh, guard you can you can attack the enemy's HP. A guard successful right before uh, being hit triggers a perfect guard. I want a perfect. Oh, so you basically just have to get a perfect guard for it to work. Okay. Um, how many lies have I told you? Uh, do white lies count in this matter? <laughs> because I tend not to lie. I tend to, I, I tend not to lie technically. I tend to use uh, white lies a lot. Um, hold on, where is it? There you go. Uh, bending the truth a little. Basically all it is, just so that I can technically all the lies. Well, see, the thing is, the reason why I use white lies is so I can talk about my stuff that happens in the real world without having to worry about accidentally doxing myself. Um, so sometimes I'll switch some uh, some stuff up just so it's like it's so that it's still time telling the truth, but also so that it's enough to throw peeps off. Also, where in the world? I want to go through. Let me let me go. Also, hey, oh, hey, Primal, welcome, welcome. Uh, keep on switching. Also, guys, I am so sad to say this, but this is the first day in about a week and a half where I have not posted a YouTube video. <laughs> this is the first day. Um, uh, hold on. I, I, this is like the first day in like a week and a half that I haven't posted one of the videos on any of my channels, and I'm so sad. Hey, dude, shut. Get out of here. Um, one minute. Thank you, uh, Lydos. I mean, what I could do is I could do that once I, um, I, I could do that once I build, uh, start working on the Unreal Engine project that I'm working on. And once it gets to a point where I can use it on stream. Because once it gets to a point where I can use it on stream, I could just, uh, add that as, like, a feature into it. So you guys could, like, increase the size of, uh, my horn. Also, Scar, it's not a cowlick. Um, it's a horn. It's not a cowlick. <laughs> Everybody thinks it's a cowlick, but it's not. Um, I'm sorry to say. Uh, hold on. I, uh, I'm currently working on a new design, uh, that makes it a little bit more obvious that it's a horn rather than a cowlick. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll post the design, uh, the, like, the ref sheet that I'm currently working on in, uh, Discord once I'm done it. Because I want to, uh, I want to heckin', uh, go through and actually, uh, actually finish making it first before, like, I actually say anything about it. Just so that I can talk about the shenanigans. Ooh! Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. Oh, that is crisp. They're gonna. Oh, so it tells us when it happens. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What about inventory? Oh, I see you. I, I see you there. Come on. There we go. Get you out of here. Yo. Ah, uh, the cow horn or horn. Ah, uh, like a cow horn or a horn lick. Wait, cows have horns? Well, they technically do. I guess they do. Um, that is. I, I never really thought about the fact that cows have horns. You know, why 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 are we figuring this out now? The fact that cows have horns and not anything else. The hell. Uh, it's called a bull. Bull technic- <laughs> No, I'm not gonna bring technicologies in this here, it's a bull. Um, uh, bovine. 
Uh, both of you have points. Really? It's actually really cool. Okay, got you. Hey, dude, shush. You, my friend, are too fast. And you need to get out of here, thank you. Alright, cool. We are chilling. Oh, wait, hold up. I should probably uh, heal really quick. Healing away with our heckin' shenanigans. Banning in action would be great with this game. Oh my god. Actually, uh, this was actually suggested by War, actually, funny enough. I'm actually working on building a program right now that makes it so that when you guys ban in action, a little five minute timer shows up on the screen, either on the top right or the top left. I haven't quite figured out which one. Um, but it'll be like a, a timer with a progress bar so you guys can see how long I have left until the ban is over. Um, I've, I've been working on a little bit of stuff in the background here, um, though it is very strange. Also, speaking of programs, I should probably get Artemis working in the background here. Hold up, give me like two seconds to go get Artemis back up. I forgot Artemis. I forgot Artemis. How could I forget about Artemis? I'm so sorry, Artemis. Um, you're going to block attack? What do you want me to do? Walk into a fight without having any kind of defense? What kind of absolute shenanigans are you planning over here? Um, because that is just straight up evil. That is just straight up evil. There you go. Also, by the way, guys, a uh, little thing. Um, this right here is actually kind of cool. Um, I built a thing to be able to tell me how many th certain th uh, how many times some certain things have been like uh, said in chat. It also pops up as like a little thing and it sorts by the uh, top most asked questions in chat, which is kind of funny. <laughs> so if you guys are asking me some really weird stuff, I can find it later and be like, hmm. Hey guys, so uh, why was somebody asking me about this one specific question in chat? The weirdest possible question in existence because I can't catch everything. Um, so I just thought it'd be a funny thing to have. Press button. Press it. Yo, we can open it now. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Okay, there you go. We got part of the brain working. Each what kiddo. I'll walk into a fight and win uh, using words. You want me to walk into a fight and win using words? Do you know how difficult that is to do? Actually, it's not too difficult to do. All you gotta do is like heckin' pull the uh, main anime character. Um, like just pull the pull the heckin' uh, anime main character thing. Um, oh, you can still use item. It's um, has something here. You, my friends, need to. Oh god, that hurt like a mother trucker. Ow! 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 Wait, can I? Can I? Can I? Hold on. I gotta. I gotta know. I gotta know. Hold on. I gotta know. Um, also block that. What do you mean you're gonna also block what now? You're gonna block everything in existence? You can't just block everything. Okay, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. It does work. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, I can stun them. Oh. Is this guy the soldier of Godric? Probably, honestly. Um, knowing Godric, he probably has like a soldier like this. Yeah, it makes sense. Whoop. Ooh, hold for charge attack. Wait, there's an actual charge attack? Oh, cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this real quick, grab you here, and then what we're gonna do is get you to heckin' do that real quick, and, oh, ow, dude, shush. Okay, oh, so I have to hold the right, oh, I turn to dust, oh, you actually turn to dust, oh, and then you get, oh, Interesting. So you actually get like turned, they turn back the clock to bring you back. That's actually really cool. I didn't realize that they'd be doing that for like the like lore bits. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so what's considered to be like a... So we get pulled back all the way back here. What? Okay, tab switch weapon. So tab is to switch weapon. Um, we don't have multiple weapons. Okay, cool. Uh, extra bag. That's going to be the extra bag here. Lock on. Switch, uh, switch to walking. Oh, so you can choose between walking and running. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense that you can just like switch between walking and running. Oh, why, hello. How you doing? There you go. Get you out of here. There you go. Absolutely perfect. All right, I'm going to heck and just practice uh, guarding on you guys. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. As much as I can, at least, because like guarding is a really useful technique, believe it or not. Man, they really did want to make guarding like just a hundred percent like mandatory. Oh, um, th there there goes my heckin' ability for my heckin' uh. Okay, cool. So the, the the little lamp that we have is not uh. Yes, it is a stop sign. It, they are all stop signs. Everything that they use is all stop signs, and all the different guards and like different uh, enemies so far have used different types of signs. Um, so for example, this dude is using a sign right now, but then the other dudes. Um, are using other things. I don't fully know what the other dudes are using though. Um, 
Oh, and then we can go through here. Oh, okay, got you, got you. That's what I was like. Go. Hello. You kind of look like you know the you know the conductor you know the conductor from Black Ops Two, the zombie map from Black Ops Two. Uh, they kind of look like the conductor a little. You know, is that just me or is that is that is, that's that can't be just me, right? Cause look at him. He's like a near perfect image, like a spitting image of him, almost perfect. Um, then again, I could be completely wrong, but like the conductor is just then the conductor. Then again, the conductor is like completely evil. Well, he's not necessarily evil. He's more of like a. He's kind of like the. Oh, uh, use blade. Uh, fable arts. Oh, guarding. Use hand. Fable arts. What the hell is a fan, hand? Hand. Fable arts. Okay. Okay. So basically, what we're doing is we're gonna want to do you. There you go. Yeah, well. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come on. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay. Oh. Come on. It is so weird to play a Souls like game on keyboard mouse though. I I'm gonna end up like losing control. Or heckin more accurately, I'm gonna end up losing my heckin uh There you go, that's what we're looking for. Come on! Come on! You know what? Fine. We'll just defeat you the old-fashioned hard way, I guess. No! Frick, I'm so close! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I was hoping I could just tank the rest of that, honestly. Like, I was gonna go through and see if I could just tank everything, but turns out tanking is not an option. Not in this case, at least. Um, come on! Okay, so it turns out that we're technically a pixie. I, uh, I, 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 I can stand by the, uh, uh the pixie. Um, it's really weird to think that I'm a pixie of some sort, though. Like, it's so strange. Or is there some kind of, like, is there some kind of story behind it? Like, what, what, what's the story behind the, um... Like, what's, what's the story behind the, um... Like, the blue stuff? Is that just, like, kind of, like, or is it just gonna be explained later on? Because there's the... There's gotta be an explanation for, like, what the blue stuff is, right? They can't just, like, not tell us what the blue stuff is. Because, like, the, that, that's gotta be some kind of, like, special stuff. Unless it's just, um, pixie dust, and that's what it is, ultimately. That or the power of magic. Um, blue equals mystery. Wait, do they really just not tell you anything? Damn. Also, can we just talk about the d fact that these dudes have, like, no, so like, uh, situational awareness at all? <laughs> Look at this. There's, like, no situational awareness at all. Hey, dude, heck off. Get out of here. Thank you. Um, da da da. I feel so bad. The <laughs> hell? Okay. I feel so bad for anybody that got caught by these guys because they're, you're gonna die by ways of stop and go. Like, what are they gonna do? The heckin' the, the heckin' thing that like clowns would do, like evil clowns would do, where they heckin' hit you with the stop side and like not hit you with the go side. I don't know. Heckin' weird, weird, weird stop and go puns. I, I just kill you with puns, I guess. I don't know. Like, what would they do? Ah, I feel so bad. Just. The absolute torture and agony of having to deal with an infinite number of puns continuously over and over. I, I don't know. Oh, you've never played? Oh, I got you. Yep, they do be evil. They do be evil. Evil, evil. Okay, got you. Okay, cool. I'm getting better at dodging. Okay, cool. Um, You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna. Oh, I can't pause. I can't pause. Okay, cool. We're just gonna. Okay, cool. We're gonna heckin' back off, grab you here. I was sorely mistaken. Okay, cool. Come on. Just sit still. There you go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Fail attack. Let's go. Come on. Yes, okay, cool. Oh, yo, look at that. Yes. Oh my god. I accidentally did that combo. That was a complete button mash. That was not supposed to happen, but it did work. It worked. It just, oh my god, it works. Okay, okay. It turns out that button mashing is strategic. Mud, button mashing is the best kind of button mashing. Okay, we're gonna do this really quick. Hold on, give me like two seconds here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to graphics really quick, and then we're gonna adjust brightness. And we're gonna increase it just a little bit. Um, yeah, just so that you guys can see more stuff. Uh, because honestly, I'd much rather you guys be able to see stuff rather than uh, not. Because like as of right now, um, yeah, 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 you guys know. <laughs> um, hold on, I gotta go back and check this out here. 
Um, is button mashing something that we can ban? Um, I mean, if you can ban the entire keyboard, I say, why not? Like, see, if it's within reason, so you guys can ban stuff like button mashing, or you can guys can ban, like, certain keys, or you guys can ban, like, just, like, the ability to do certain things, but, like, if you guys ban my sword, for example, I'm just gonna be dodging enemies the entire time, so I don't know how that'd be entertaining. Um, or in, for, like, five minutes. I guess it would just be me trying to survive for five minutes without being able to attack anything, which would be kind of strange, but also at the same time, checks out. Um, okay, so we got something in our inventory. A bag! All right, cool. So let's go to weapons. That's all my weapons. We got you here. These are all ergos, defense parts. These are different defense parts. Uh, move to equipment. Okay, weight 5.3, physical damage reduction. Move to equipment. And we've got defense parts. And then we got to go over to uh, equip. And we got to go over here. Uh, okay. Okay, so you can get uh, things that just increase your stuff. Okay, okay. Then we got character info, check status. Um, okay, so then we got character info. Which, um, hold on, we got HP, 170, uh, oh, we're out of HP, aw, Saj, man, Saj. Alright, let's go, let's see if I can find out what we're gonna do, uh, or find out the location that we gotta go to, because, like, I actually don't know where I'm going right now. I genuinely don't know where we're going right now. Um, hold on, is it down over there? Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it up there? I'm gonna go with it's up there, because there's enemies up there. Um... Hmm, I wish there was a faster way to move. That would be cool. Also, dude, you need to heck and get your situational awareness on point, my dude. You're like non-existent. Oh, there's two of you. There's two of you. Oh, there's a butler. Hi, butlers. Bye, butlers. Um, they they were gonna hit. They were gonna hit me with a candlestick. What the hell are they doing with a candlestick? Okay, well, whatever. Um, I guess there's an item right here. There you go. Dime ergo fragment. No, no, no. We gotta go heck and find the rest though. We gotta go ahead and find the rest. Hold on, is it down here? Uh, rear fatal attack from behind an enemy. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So you're sending. I just walked through a trigger right there, which is a pain because it means that I'm going reverse. I'm going backwards to what I'm supposed to be. Uh, so you switch to walking. All right, cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up to you, switch to walking, and then we're just gonna slowly sneak up to you. What? No, you, my friend, cannot. Did you just? They waited, so they are smarter than they look. Okay, okay, okay. They are smarter than I than I thought they were. Because usually, um, usually the enemies don't just wait for you to walk up behind them. Okay, okay. Um, also, originally I thought they were just, I was covered in blood, but turns out that I'm just covered in, uh, uh, covered in, like, oil and stuff. So, I mean, at least this time it's not jam of some kind. Uh, hold on, we got you here. I hello. I see you there. Bye, dude. You are the most annoying dude in existence. Um, is there a way down here? Okay, so we gotta go over here. I'm guessing that there's a key. There might be a key. I hope. I hope there's a key over here because there's, there's a bloodstain going this way. So maybe this is the way. Hey, dude, out of here. Get out of here with your bullshit again. Thank you. Um, what? Are you not hiding? What? Okay, well, whatever. Um, other way around. So just keep on searching this way. Hmm. Man, our clothes were like perfectly white and looked amazing by- Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, now we're back to looking perfectly okay. Nice. Um, self-cleaning clothes. Now that is something that would be absolutely amazing to have. Never have to worry about laundry ever again. It'd be perfect. Ooh, open the door. Use Crat Central Station main entrance key. Okay, what you got for me? What's going on? Why do we feel like there's gonna be a boss here? There's gotta be a boss here. There's no way there isn't a boss. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, shoes. Ba-da. ba ba da ba uh uh what the hell? What are you doing? Okay, so there is no boss here, but there is- Oh! Nope. There is not a boss, but it's a... Stargazer activated. You started to recover HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You'll receive uh, revive at this point of cause of death. Remember, the proce uh, process also revives enemies, not just your character. Interesting. Okay, cool. So what if we use it? This oh. is called a stargazer. Okay. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Interesting. Gemini. We are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, 
Gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer So we have to go gather the blue forever. stuff and then just turn it. So okay, so basically it works the same as souls. Okay, gotcha. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. So we have to go okay, so what if we just want to level up? Level up. Uh what do we want to focus on? What do I want to focus on? Do I want to focus on HP, stamina, weight? Uh, you know what? Let's go. Let's go focus on weight really quick. Yeah, let's just let's go. Let's go maximum vigor so I can take more than a few hits because I'm, I'm going to need those extra uh, hit points because I know that I'm going to get hit quite a few times. So it's going to be a uh, much better here. Oh my god, the poor horse. No, I'm sorry, horse. You did not deserve that. I'm sorry, dude. Also, can we just talk about something really quick? Their hoof is on my <laughs> Um, they, uh, they, they might have messed up a little. Uh, the horse's leg is on the wrong way. Um, all right, cool. Uh, we, we have a horse that's missing a, it's, it's just, no, 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 look at that. Look at, wait, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna point it out with my sword. Hold up, can I, can I point it out with my sword? Yeah, look at that, look at that. That, that leg right there, look at its hoof. Its hoof is completely backwards. Um, all right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let that be. We're just gonna let that be. Oh, oh it's Doggo! Hi, Doggo! Bye, Doggo! I'm sorry, Doggo. Oh, there's more Doggos. Uh oh. No, Doggos! <laughs> oh, god damn it. Come on, Doggos. I'm sorry, Doggos. Oh, god, there's more of you. There's more than I thought there was gonna be. Why are they throwing up? They really did say, uh, we're just gonna throw you off the deep end here. Okay, cool. Um, they, 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 they really pulled a heckin' Dark Souls 3 on this one. Uh, demon, ro uh, demon robot Doggos. Yep. Well, I mean, okay, say, 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 here, here, here's my theory on the facts. What if they're just not evil or mad or like evil or anything? What if, hear me out really quick. They're just looking for head pats, but they haven't gotten the head pats forever and forever. So they're just, just, they're, they're, they're just like really, really, really mad. And that's why they're coming after us is because nobody's given them head, pat, uh, head pats, you know, you know, not gonna lie. I can hundred percent relate if that's the case because head pats are the best. Um, cut times issues 183. Nice, nice. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta go find something to go do. Okay, so you, my friend, can be ignored. You are okay. Okay, the fact that I'm kind of curious about is, like, why is it raining all the time? Like, you know how, like, when whenever we, like, talk about these kind of, like, situations, it's always raining. Why is it never daytime? Like, what, why, why, why do they always have it set so that it's always raining and never, like, a daytime uh, thing? Because, like, you know, like, when it goes, like, full, like, daytime and, like, nighttime and, like, all that kind of stuff. Whenever, it's, like, some kind of sad thing is happening, they've always got to have it raining. Like, in, uh, Batman is so guilty of that. Like, genuinely, absolutely, insanely guilty of it. Um, actually, Marvel in general, for that matter. But, like, heck in, uh, it's just, it's just interesting because, like, I mean, rain could be considered sad, but it can also be considered very happy. Like, here where I live, rain is considered, like, a happy thing to happen, so it's kind of strange. Uh, it's because we don't get it very often, so like here it's like considered very much like a happy event. Um, so maybe it's just like a difference in things? I don't know. Heck and rain is weird. We actually got like we actually got rain for like the first time in like three weeks here, which is cool. Um, today. It was like raining all day, which is nice. Um, as it like becomes like slowly but surely uh more and more like into the fall and stuff, it becomes more and more of uh more and more into the um it, it becomes more and more of like rainy and like cold and stuff. Oh, which is nice because like the the ground really needs it otherwise we um just having flash floods if you guys didn't know uh if a place is too dry for too long you can actually end up having the top uh, layer of the soil become too so uh too solid and when it rains the uh the soil will never be able to like actually absorb the uh, rain anymore so when you go into uh when it when it actually like downpours and like it ends up like raining like uh, like liters of water uh the rain doesn't get absorbed into the water anymore um, and it just like, or the rain doesn't get absorbed into the ground anymore and it just stays on top and will flood entire areas. Even if it's like a, even if it's like entirely just like a, uh, uh, like a savanna or something and you've got like ravines and stuff around you, it'll still, uh, flood the area, uh, near like in, to like insane levels. You, my dudes, need to go desert to do that. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. It happens, it happens sometimes here. Um, it's just, it, it's just like a weird little phenomenon that happens that not a lot of people know about. Which is, I find really interesting that they don't teach about us, uh, teach us about it in school and stuff, which is awesome. Or, not good, sorry. It's not good that they don't teach us about it in school, but it, it should be taught in school. Um, too much rain, for, uh, too long, flooded my street. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. 
Heckin' floods are weird. Man, did I ever guys did I ever tell you guys the time where like I was spending like the year that I spent in Montreal? Uh when I went back uh for like high school and stuff. I went there for like a year in high school. Um Did I ever tell you about the time this uh uh it ended up flooding in like I think it was 2019, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, it was 2019, I'm pretty sure. Um it ended up uh flooding to like a level of like uh, where they had to shut down like almost every one of the bridges in Montreal. Uh, the only way we could get across was a single bridge um, using the passenger train on the cargo on the cargo rails um, because apparently the cargo rails were stronger than the more modern bridges um, because the cargo rails had been made back in I think it was like 1950 or something like around there. It was made back in like 1950 and uh, it was like it, it's stronger. It was strong enough to handle a flood, but the modern bridges weren't. So like you'd see like this massively beautiful bridge next to like this old like rundown like rusted like dinky bridge, <laughs> and the dinky bridge is the one that we could use. Oh, oh, you're using heckin' charged attacks. Okay, well, first of all, my dude, see this is what we call massive disrespect. Second of all, I need you to heckin' back off real quick, because I do not feel like dealing with you right now. Oh, you are using full, 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 full stuff. Okay. Come on. Okay, so I dodged it. We're good. Yeah, let's go. All right, kill and blow. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh, uh, um. Hey, dude. Y you seem to be disconnected. Like, y your body. Well, welcome back, everybody. This seems like a bit of like. Th their body seems a little disconnected, you know? Um, I, I don't even know what to say at that point because like the dude just hiking got chopped in half. Okay, let's go. Let's hike and keep searching. Okay, it's a mood. What do you mean a mood? Hold up, did you get guillotines? But like body edition, not head. Oh, fury attack. Y you know, y you know. Also, hey divine, welcome, welcome. I, I, you know, this tutorial would be absolutely amazing if it happened before the fight, you know? Not after the fight. Y y y like, I've already killed the dude. Why are you giving me the tutorial now? <laughs> um, it's after the fight, dude. Come on. Game. Is it- is <laughs> It'd be awesome if the trigger was, like, tied to the, to the enemy so that if you got within a certain range of the enemy, it would trigger not within, like, a certain point of, like, the distance. Um, my god, that is a little awkward, but also absolutely amazing. Come on, let's get it. There you go. It's okay though, because like a lot of games, um, a lot of games have it set so that uh, um, the trigger points are like within the map itself, just so that you don't end up. Oh, you're missing your head. Oh, why hello? Um, I'm gonna try this real quick. I want to see what happens. There you go. Nice. Oh, you're missing a hand and a head. Damn. Your heckin' life is a doll. Really costs you a head and then hands. Um, what the hell? What the hell? Why are they? Why are they showing so many of those in one place? What the heck? Is it like a power, like a show of like, oh, we have this many pamphlets, so you should come over here because it's a better show than the other show kind of thing. It'd be kind of funny if that's actually a thing. Wait, wait, no, actually, that actually makes, makes sense for a marketing tactic, though. Even though it makes zero sense in like actual, like convincing people to come see your show, it just makes sense because, um, <laughs> because weird flexes. Um, because like, yeah, see, it's double. They could literally say that they have double the marketing that the uh, other uh, that the other than the other thing has. So they could literally just claim that as like their claim to fame or something. I don't know. Um, they, could, they, they could use that as a marketing tactic or something. I don't know. Some like weird shenanigans. Oh, I need more stamina. That's what I need. I need I need more stamina. I need more stamina. Okay, 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 okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna keep looking for shenanigans here. I actually don't know what to do here because there's gotta be some kind of like. Um, th there's got to be some kind of like story here with like uh, what's going on? Oh, can I break that open actually? I got I gotta know. Can I break Can I break you open? Can I break you open? Uh, urgent repair tool. Wait, hold on. What 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 what, 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 what lower bells? Let's go over here. Consumable. Okay, that's a repair tool. That's fine. Oh, uh, what are you? Lower belts. What the hell is my lower belt? Weapon durability. Wait, wait. Oh, there's weapon durability. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, also, guys, can we just talk about the sparks really quick? Like, that looks so cool! Guys, look at how cool that looks! I'm gonna go spray some enemies with sparks. Hold up, let me get- Okay, hold on, I'm gonna go find some enemies just to, just to go spray some sparks at them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. RT! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Have some, have the sparks of my heckin' sword. Have the sparks of my sword. All of them. <laughs> Don't worry. Hold on, I'm gonna get to a spot really quick. There you go. It's my own flamethrower. It, it's an absolutely amazing flamethrower. There, 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 no. There you go. Absolute perfect flamethrower right there. Uh, oh wait, you guys can see it. Hold up, we're gonna just go over here. And then there you go. See? It's a flamethrower. Um, <laughs> Not that it really does anything, but yes, it's a flamethrower. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna go take a screenshot of that really quick. Hold on, give it two seconds of that. Uh, what was I doing? Is it a? Yes, it is our. Alright, cool. There you go. We're gonna go grab you. And then... Okay, so it doesn't work. So I can't... Okay, never mind. So F12 does not... Ah, uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Enemies are coming at me. Alright, hold up. We're gonna have to wait for the screenshot for later. Heckin' screenshots can always be waiting so later. Okay, cool. I can always just grab it later. Oh, no, get you out of here. Come on, down you go. Thank you. Um, man, you know what's concerning is the fact that they can still find me and see me when they have a missing head. Like, I have a question. Are they just able to see things through the floor? Is that, is that what's happening here? Is that, is, that the, is that the prognosis or the proclamation that's happening here? Because, like, there's no... There's no way. There's no flipping way. Oh, it's fine. It's okay. It is a okay. Man, I gotta go back and find out. Uh, okay. okay let's just keep on looking. It's like a push. What do you mean a powerful blade? Oh. Hi, Braid Puppet. Are you friend or foe? Or wait, no, you're friendo. You're friendo. Hi, friendo. You're not here to kill me today. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, are you friendo or okay? So you are friendo. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. Wait, didn't so we're called a stalker, okay. Figures. The whole organization fell apart. Okay, so we're All called a stalker, which is... wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. Okay, so this is something that ended up... So this is something that ended up happening on purpose. This isn't necessarily a... Um, accident. This was done on purpose. Okay, cool. Great sword. Um. Oh, 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 oh no. Uh. I thought it was a way for him to hide his face from the enemy. Um, if I'm being real with you. Ah, uh, buzz of praise, which I'm fairly abused by the Ooh, that's cool. Um, oh, but it is. Oh, it only lets me do up to three. It's throwing stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, that is not a great time. That dude is not having a great day. Um, equipment, let's just go to weapon. Okay, I wanna go grab you, space equip. Great sword. I now have a giant sword. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, uh, shift plus up. Oh, that was not what I was trying to do. Um, I just wanted to do a thing where I just... Oh, tab is a switch weapon. Nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Woo, now I see why you're talking about the whole, like, me liking Oh, I see why you're saying to the, the, the reason why I should use the uh, heavy weapon because of the way that I play in Elden Ring. That makes a lot of sense, actually, Kalashi. Okay, because it's legitimately the weapon that I use in Elden Ring, in a nutshell, right there. Oh, what are we doing? What are we looking for? Oh, turns out we can just break it. Um, I I can't. I can't play it with controller. It's not on Steam. Or, I'm not playing on Steam right now, I see. Um, I'm using the Xbox Game Pass, uh, Game Pass to play it. Um, and since it's on the Xbox Game Pass, you can't use a PS4 controller. Um, I don't think you can, at least. As I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% sure that you can't use a controller for it. Um, or at least a PS4 controller. Um, why are you here? Dude, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Okay, come on, stay away. Come on. Also, let me know if the game's too loud, by the way. Because the game on my end is, like, absolutely blasting. So if it's, like, too loud and you guys can't hear me, let me know. And I'll I can take care of it. Come on. Okay, cool. Ow. Oh, charge attack. Okay, cool. Nice. Come on. Charge attack. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's working out. Hey, this boss is not too bad, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, honestly. Um. Wait, hold on. Can I parry? Can I parry? I want to see it. I can parry! Interesting, okay. Come on! Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, how's the time? What do you mean, now's the time? What do you mean, now's the time? No, 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 no. Put the time away. 
Oh, and then I have to get close for it to use it. Okay, got you. So there's there's a whole like systematic uh, situation here. Come on. Come on, just dive onto me. Dive onto me. Dive onto me. Really quick. Come on. I know you can do it. Come on. Uh oh no. No. Alex, please for the love of God, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I have to survive this for ten or like, five minutes without having any kind of way of attacking. That is absolutely insane to get me to do. Ow! Heckin, what do you mean it's about to go? What do you mean it's about to go? Heckin, what are you talking about? Ow. Hmm? Ah! I don't know. Ah, I'm doing it. Hey, yo. Hey, Junior. I'm doing okay. Oh, we're currently just in the middle of an attack right now. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, you need to get out of here. Thank you. Come on. Stop with your shenanigans. Come on. Just die. Dive. What? You're not going to dive. Interesting. I think they learned their lesson. That or they're currently... Oh, no. They didn't learn their lesson. Okay. Cool. Ow. Okay. See. Oh, I can recharge it over time. Based on attacks. Okay. 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 We're slowly but surely getting here. Um, hold on. Ow. Okay, so I just need to land a bunch of hits and then I can get heals. Okay, cool. That's actually kind of cool that there's a mechanic where you can actually regen your health, like, healing based on, uh, based on shenanigans here. It is running absolutely phenomenally. Like, it, I have, I, I'm running at, a, I think, 165 at the moment. Um, at, like, 2k without any issues and, like, um, th there's like no issues whatsoever at the moment, so like, it is absolutely amazing. Oh! Dude! What are you doing? You're raging now, okay, cool. I, I guess raging is a way to do it. Ow! 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 Okay, dude, stop it. That's all I ask. Just step away. Just step away really quick. Come on! Wait, I can tap. I can tap. I can tap between attacks. Okay, cool. What do you mean? This is going to be a fun game to ban stuff in? What do you mean? What are you planning? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to like focus right now because I don't want to die. But also, I'm trying to like relearn all the mechanics and stuff on keyboard and mouse because like I, I've i never played a Souls-like game on keyboard and mouse before. So like, this is like an entirely first new experience. Oh, god damn it. Did you just say ban sharpening? Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me, Junior? Oh no. No. Why would you do this to me? I swear to god, no. Um, okay, so upon dying is on uh, the boss arena, if you die in the boss battle, death ergo is created in the entrance of the boss arena. <gasps> oh my god, it's better than souls like games, they actually help you out. Oh my god, they actually Guys, 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 guys. They actually let you get your ergo back without having to go into the boss arena. This is already one step above all of the heckin' uh, Dark Souls games. But then again, uh, a Souls like isn't meant to be that easy, you know? It's meant to be one of those things where like you actually have like a really hard time, you know? Alright, you nerd. Get over here. We, we already know that you want to do this. Hold on, get, get over here. Come on, let me heckin' do this. Okay, fun. Fine. Fine. Okay, come on. Yeah, there you go. Ow. Okay, first of all, dude, rude. Second of all, shush. Get out of here with your heckin' shenanigans. Hey, dude, shush. Get out of here. No. Boom. No. Wait, did you just... Heckin, did you just heal? Wait, there's no way you just healed. There's no way you just healed. You can't just heal like that. Ow. Okay, never mind. Hold up, hold up. Wait, did you just... Uh, Alex! I, I can't... Well, we're not going to end up using WASD, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Um, uh, We can't use WASD for this at all. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, no, see? Rolling and dashing. Well, I mean, yeah, that just ends that. Okay, cool. You know... You know, committing murder wasn't exactly what I thought I was going to end up walking, like, dying from murder from people deciding to ban certain things was not what I thought I was going to walk up, wake up to after a nap today, you know? Uh, you can parry, but you're still going to take damage. I was trying to dodge so that I wouldn't take any damage, RT. Um, and rolling got banned right after, RT. Take a look at that. Junior actually just banned rolling right after it, so I'm kind of just host on that one. There's not much I can do. 
Ah, uh, yeah, they banned roll. So I was just kind of like, you know what? Hands in the air. I'm taking that death. Um. Um. You can just call me uh, Satan. <laughs> fair point, actually. That is a very fair point. You know what? Fair enough. I can't even argue with that because that is literally your name. So, yeah. Yeah. No, checks out. Um. Ow. Dude. Stop it. Okay, so that is not going to be a thing. So I can't dodge you exactly. Come on. Okay, cool. And take. Oh, no. No. I can. Okay, okay. So turns out that this is a little bit more of a. Okay, so you can trigger certain. Ooh, okay. Actually, that's actually that's going to be really nice. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Just let me. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to how to parry right now. Um, hold on, parry. There you go. Oh wait, hold up. I gotta get out of that. There's no way I could dodge that. Okay. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, uh, three, two, one. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Okay, so when you're attacking, you can't dodge like at all. You can't, you can't uh, get out of a dodge. Like you can't get out of an, att an attack using a dodge at all. Um, and it seems like your iframes are extended, not necessarily... Ow. Uh, prayer will be uh, done when you do a perfect one without taking damage. Otherwise, let's just uh, block it, I think. Yeah, you just block it, yeah. Um, or at least that's how they uh, explained it in the beginning. Uh, so for example, if we dodge and parry this, for example, I still take damage, but it's not to an extended degree, so I can still at least heal from it. Um, but the problem is, is that since I need to heal from it, um, God damn it, dude! Stop setting still. You know what? We're gonna pull out my other sword so I can actually learn how to use this uh, sword as well. Hold up. Okay. Okay. Ow. Oh god, the amount of damage I do is so little. Okay. Okay. Um. Ow. Okay, so I did take a bit of damage there, but I can walk away from it. Okay, cool. Come on, do the thing. I want to get a perfect. I want to get a perfect parry at least once on this dude. Um, wait, what? What the hell? Okay, fine. I'll I'll use my heavy weapon then, I guess. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Come on. Okay. Come here. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. Uh. There's not really much I can- I wanted to try and learn how to use my light weapon, but fair enough. I guess that's not gonna happen today. Ah, uh, okay, cool. So we got T. We got you out of here. Um, you, you you guys do want me to get past this boss, okay? Um, you, you guys do want me to get past this- You guys do want me to get past this boss, right? Because if you're saying no blocking and no parrying, I- Yeah, at this point, I can't do anything. Um, so... We're gonna have to set a limit to it per ban is only gonna last for a boss fight, a single attempt. Because otherwise, if we continue through attempts and actually stack those, I would just be sitting here, hands up, I'm dead kind of thing. I just have to die there for five minutes straight um, at this point for what you guys have actually set up. Um, so we're kind of, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna have to do a thing of, uh, they only last through a single fight. Because like, otherwise, yeah, I can't do much. How about three? That time doesn't sound too bad. No, 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 no. They last for a single attempt. If I can, if I can survive the attempt, then they last longer. But if they, if they, if I don't, then I it's over. After that, that's the only way I can actually make this actually even slightly fair. Okay, dude, out of here. Um, come on. There you go. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay. Um. Da 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 da. da. Uh, gonna uh go on this guy yet? Uh, how far have you gotten on this guy yet? I have gotten to a tenth of his health down. Like, when I say I haven't gotten far, I mean, like, I have not gotten far at all. Um. Okay, so you can't parry those. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that, like, that I was right in that assumption. That, like, there's no parrying that. Um. Okay, so it turns out that you can take damage from that directly, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, you can lose balance? Interesting. Okay. Grab you here, and then go here. Okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, cool. 
So I can actually do more damage, but the problem is, is that since I do more damage, I can't exactly do... Okay, so that can't be dodged either. Heck, that boss took me about six tries because I was too stubborn to uh, parry him. Okay, he has to live to uh, wind up his, after some of his hacks. Ah, it's fine. It's okay. It's not the end of the universe. Um, there you go. I think this is officially the first we've gotten. Um, there you go. Boom. Boom. Okay, cool. Uh, I can get into side here. What if we just use this instead? Uh, so what if we use a lighter weapon? Because it'll make it so that we can actually do some actual shenanigans here. Okay, so we can actually dodge that. Uh, I don't think those were perfect parries, were they? Wait, were those considered perfect parries? Interesting. Because if those are considered perfect parries, they should be, uh... They should be stunning them, that's why. Um... Like, they, uh, that one before was a perfect. Interesting. Um, because they should be, they should, should be stunning them, that's why, like... Um, I don't quite understand why perfect parries aren't exactly working right now. Um... Come on. Come on, okay. Okay, so there is a difference between them. Okay, cool. Uh, so what if I get you to do this really quick? Get you over here? I wish there was a way to get in closer faster. Because as it stands right now, I can't get in close. Like, at all. Um, the three uh, I need in a row for that boss. I really want to say it more in case the last... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so basically just three perfect parries in a row. Oh, yeah, that's the end of that one. Um, well, at least we almost got like halfway. We got almost halfway through their health though. That's crazy. We're, we're slowly getting better, but this is going to get hard fast. Um, like this, this game really is like the heckin' uh, Dark Souls 3 Pinocchio edition. Why would they do this to us? Okay. Um, we should be good on this one. Okay, you right here. So I can get punched by him. Okay, cool. Cool. If you want to know something uh, more about him, just ask, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Jay. Um, thank you, Junior. Thank you, thank you. Um, hold on, let's grab you. There you go. I'm just gonna grab my heavier weapon because I seem to do better with, uh, doing, uh, parries with heavier weapon than I do with my, uh, lighter weapon. Even though it probably makes no, no difference whatsoever, but yeah. Um. So you said three, three perfect parries in a row, right? That should be not too hard to do, right? Um, come on. Okay, first one there. Second one, and third one. What? What do you mean three perfect parries in a row? What are you talking about? What kind of lies are you speaking? There's three perfect parries right there. Back. Um, yeah, I said that, uh, same thing, uh, same thing. Four attempts. Wait, four attempts? Hold up. It takes you four attempts to get four perfect parries out of this? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna get heckin- Oh, I can't heckin' deal with that. Okay, perfect parry means no health loss. Wait, hold up. So basically, you're saying that there's no way of actually doing. Uh, hold on, hold on. I gotta. I can make sure that we get you out of here. Um. Okay. First perfect parry. Okay, that's not. That's not gonna help at all. Um. Get first one. Second. Oh no, that was not our second one. All right, cool. Um. I want to see what happens when we get a, like three perfect parries in a row. I'm kind of curious. Okay, first one. Oh, that is not what we're looking for. Second one. Okay, okay, okay. And then we gotta do a... That's not the right attack. Ow! Damn it! Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do this the hard way then, I guess. Why are you always focused on doing that kind of attack, though? I'm always curious why like certain bosses always do some of like the more annoying attacks in the sense of like they don't fully um also this range on this weapon is absolutely abysmal ah! swords are useless heckin oh, okay hold on I gotta heckin get yeah look at that right there heckin I keep on misjudging the distance is it just is it just me or the distance feel like weird in this game um it seems like it's a lot closer than it should be um, like you have to be a lot closer than you should be normally. Well, now I'm like inside of them right now, so that works. Um. Okay, cool. Okay, so that heavy attack there doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, okay. Just get out of here. 
heal really quick, just so I can do this really quick here. Ah, uh, enemies that attack charge your pulse cells. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Come on. Can I get another perfect fairy? No, you are too far away. Wait, hold on. I just realized something. I might actually be able to do this. Dude. Chesh. I got. I, I'm doing so many perfect fairies that, like, at this point, I'm surprised that they're even, like... Like, look at that. That's a perfect fairy right there. Okay, that's not a perfect fairy. That's just me getting crushed. Um, but, like, it's, it's surprising that I'm still, like, that they're still, like, not even getting stuns. Because, like, usually when it comes down to, um, hmm, like, Sekiro or something, um, stunning is a very, like, useful tool that's, like, always there. Like, always, always. Or at least there's usually some kind of meter telling you, like, somewhere. Like, how far they are and how close they are to getting stuns. Because, like, not getting stunned is very strange. Ow. Hold on, dude. Just back away. Hold on. I, I don't know if uh, it depends on the weapon type I use. Well, a few weapons. Uh, okay, got you. Well, this is the this is the heavy weapon right here. So, or a heavy weapon at least. Um, so it's a little strange then. Come on, dude. Just jump on me. There you go. See, it wasn't that hard. Oh, no, run away. Keep running. I'm surprised that he has a cage. Wait, I just realized something. Are those all people on his back? Wait, hold on. They, they, there's no way that those are all people on his back, right? Because like, heckin, uh, go on. Let's get you out of here. Yeah, those are all people on his back. I I'm guessing those are people that he's captured or used for power? Like, why does he have those all on his back? That is crazy and very strange. Um. Come on, just let me do a thing here. If it wasn't for the heckin' um, my inability to survive for the most part while taking damage, I still need to wait for you to heckin' jump on top of me. Come on, just do the thing, do the thing. Do the normal thing that you usually do, boss. Come on, just lie on the ground really quick. That's all I gotta ask you to do. No, nope, you're not gonna lie on the ground. Why aren't you lying on the ground? I've already like mastered your moves and everything. Just heckin' lie on the ground, dude. dude. What are you- what are you doing? There you go. There you go. See, it's absolutely perfect. And now we can heal. And so now I can be a little bit more reckless. A little bit more. Oh. Um. What? Did you just pull out- Uh. What? Uh, what? Uh, um. Dude. Why? What the hell? I haven't even gotten him to his second, his next phase yet. That is crazy. What kind of absolute? Oh, I think I know why you're saying the parry. The triple parry is for the second phase, probably. Um. Okay, so basically, I just need to get three perfect parries now. Come on. Nope. Okay, so there's no, there's no dodge in that one. All right, cool. Um. Well, it's easier on the second. What do you mean it's easier on the second phase? The first stage is near perfect, though. Um, yeah, the head weapon phase. It's so weird. That weapon is so weird. Okay, so there's no heckin... Do I have to sharpen the blade? No, the blade's already sharpened for me, so I can just basically not have to worry too much. Um, you're good here. What is controlling? Like, what is my control? What does my secondary army do? That's the real question. Because, like, my secondary... Um, like, what does my secondary weapon, uh, like, my weapon, uh, secondary arm do? Because I have an arm that does control. Ah, oh, this is easier for me. My second, use Dark Souls bosses with first attacks. Oh! Yeah, see, I can't exactly, heck it, I, I have only played Dark Souls 2, I believe? No, Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 all the way to the, um, the Hunter's bosses, for some reason. Um, that was about as far as I got. Or, you know the, you know the boss where they... Okay, so basically once you get stuck into the fighting animation, you're just toast. Um, come on. Come on. Oh, wait, that's right, because right, Rex, like, isn't my, heckin', oh, you can parry that. Oh, you can parry that. You can, you can parry that. Wait, is everything parryable? Wait, hold on a second. Yeah, you can parry that. Wait, hold up. That is so weird. Um, okay. Except for the red ones, I'm guessing. 
I'm guessing the red ones are the only ones that aren't parryable. Oh, no, those are parryable too, technically. Um, it's just that it still does damage to you anyways, so you're kind of just like, no, that's also parryable? Seriously? Damn. So if you get good enough, you can just parry everything and just not take damage. That is so weird. That is genuinely super weird. Okay, okay. Understandable. Um, man, I, wanna, I can go see if I can actually beat this boss. Okay, so since everything's parryable, I'm going to see if I can actually do a goal of parrying everything in this first phase. Because once I start to learn how to parry everything in this first phase, I should be able to do the second phase just fine. It's just learning to do all the parrying. Um, that's the only problem right now that I'm having. Um, so basically what you're telling me is that I should just be able to do this. Wait, no, not that. Th no, not that. Not that either. This. Yeah, like that. You actually can parry. What the hell? Wait, what? That is so weird. That is so strange that like everything is parryable. What the heck? What the heck? All right, cool. I, I guess we're just gonna be. <laughs> and he's backing up for me. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice, nice. Ow, dude. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna just do a little, a uh, little thing here, just so we can do a little bit more light attacks. It might be a little bit. Uh, um, a little bit slower, but at least this way I can at least parry and still attack in this way. Oh! Oh, I can get stunned too! Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. So, I am actually able to parry- What the hell? That is so weird to let you parry everything like that. That is so strange. What the heck? Oh, I got it. Yeah, let's go! Wait! Hold on, actually? Wait, hold on. Wait, what? That actually works? <laughs> oh my god, that is absolutely legendary. Ow. Okay, well, fine, whatever. We can just get you out of here then. Um, that is absolutely amazing. Ow. Okay, hold on. I gotta get out of here just so I can heal really quick. Come on. Okay, also, I'm going to be ignoring all and any and all redeems right now. Just fair warning. Just so that I can actually get past this boss. Because, Jesus Christ, I don't want to be stuck here anymore. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just work with me. Actually, I kind of understand why they made it so that you could parry everything, though. Actually, I'm starting to understand why they did that, though. The reason why is because like there's so many attacks coming at you that being able to parry stuff is just astronomically just invaluable um because like the inability to not be able to um oh yeah no like everything everything can be par parried i was parrying his dash earlier it's just i keep on forgetting to <laughs> um check, uh, sure if perfect parry can be done on the shot though and uh, I, uh, what even the guys that shoot can be uh can be parried even the, oh yeah the, the heckin the guys that can shoot with their bullets yeah i can those are absolutely insane but it's okay oh my god it is okay we're getting we're getting better at parrying this is just gonna get very uh very strange i wonder if um oh, i wonder if um elden ring and dark souls can like if there's like a way of like parrying this amount in the, inside of them because i know that you can parry in them like i, I know that it's an option that you can do or you can just parry like a crazy amount inside them that's like a thing there you go there you go. Get you down here. Oh, it's like bleed. Oh, it's like bleed and um. Okay, so basically it works similar to bleed. So it's not necessarily the quantity. Um, it's not how many you get in a row. It's the, how fast you can parry and how many you can get in a row. Um, basically it's just how fast you can parry while attacking as well. It just basically comes down to. There you go. Right there. Come on. There you go. Come on down. There you go. All right, see? It comes down to being able to just do it that way, see? And you are set to go. And we are good to go. And then we've got you. Shift F real quick. And we've got you. And then, come on, close. Oh, God. 
I don't know. Okay, come on, just get close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Harry? Come on, there you go. Oh god. There you go. I wanna I wanna heal really quick. Just like so in um now we wanna get you out of here. Now that I know that I can parry everything, I just don't need to worry as much, which is nice. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Just sit still. Just sit still for like two seconds here. Oh! There you go. Okay. Ow. Oh, that's right, because he can get up that fast. I forgot about that, yeah. It's almost like he's like toying with us toying with us at the first stage. Which I find is kind of funny. Ow. I was supposed to do his first uh I was supposed to parry it, but I failed to parry. Okay, come on. Let's heal really quick just so I have a bit of extra health here. Okay, cool. Um, and then we should just be able to carry this really quick. Well, not that, but... I oh, he didn't get up. He didn't get up the usual. He usually gets up a different way. Interesting. There you go. Ow! Come on! Second stage is now you got my attention. Okay, got you. Okay, boss. Just sit still really quick. That's all I'm gonna ask you to do. Okay, um, shift F really quick, just so I can do that. Ow! No! Pachi Cal! We were down to just like a tenth, maybe even eleventh, like an eleventh of his health. Like super low health left. Um, yeah, it's just unlucky. It's fine though. Okay, now that we've gotten that down with the light sword, let's try with the heavy one. Let's try doing this with the heavy sword. Because there's gotta be there's gotta be a way for the, for us to do this with our heavy sword, right? Uh maybe I'm not I'm not too sure actually. Oh let's see. Let's see what we can do. Because there's gotta be there's gotta be a way for us to do this, right? There's gotta be a way. Um Lost. Uh okay, Frigo is here, we got you here. Okay, cool. And now that we've got this here, I can do this really quick. So we can grab this here. Ah, no. No, don't get stuck inside of a wall. Thank you. I need to grab you. Come on. Oh no, they can send me too. I forgot about that, yeah. Come on. There you go. Come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so I gotta dodge. I gotta heck in just... There you go. Just a little bit sooner. Okay. Come on. There you go. Come on. No! Heck! A little bit sooner. A little bit sooner. A little bit sooner. Like that. Right there. Okay, so I've gotten that one down pat. I've gotten that one down pat. No! Okay, that one just kills me. Okay, never mind. So, turns out heavy swords are not my thing. Okay, we're going to switch back to doing a light weapon. Because having a heavy weapon it turns out to be a, not exactly a great time. Um... There you go, we got you down here, we got you over here as well. Um, we got you down here, there you go. Let's go with the smaller one. Let's go with the small cutlass. Because the cutlass is so much nicer. Keep on searching, keep on going. I wonder if there's like any, ooh. Okay, let's go, let's go a little bit further. There you go. All right, let's try this again. My God, I wonder if there's like any upgraded light weapons that I can get. Because like having this weapon is nice, but also having like an upgraded one that does a little bit of extra damage would be nice right now. Um, ow, didn't do it fast enough. Okay, there you go. No, we're good. Oh, okay. They can also stun me as well, which is interesting. I've never actually fought a boss that can stun you as well like that. Like, it's so strange to have a boss that can like fully stun you. There you go. Let's get you out of here. There you go. No, 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 no. Oh, I got full on crushed. Okay. There you go. That's better. All right, cool. Let's grab you here. Let's grab you. Do this here. Okay, cool. Oh, it's like the it's like the uh, ability inside of um, heck in Elden Ring, because like in Elden Ring, how it works is that um, so in Elden Ring, something really cool about it is that you can do that. Like there's like a whole like little like it, it's like an entire like mechanic inside the game with a uh, bleed when you get them on the ground and stuff. Um, I can't remember what it's called. But it's something extremely similar um, that I absolutely love exists. But also at the same time, my god, is this going to be uh, one hell of a boss to do. There you go. Come on. Okay, so we're slowly but surely learning to read his movements. Okay. Um, 
come on. Come on. Just look at me. Okay, so it turns out that if he attacks from like that, I won't be able to dodge him at all. Or at least I won't be able to parry him, which is going to be a slight pain. Um, hold up. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, got you. Uh, yes, it should be fine. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay. Slowly but surely making our way downtown. Walking away. Ow. Heckin. Oh, it's because I'm not doing it fast enough. Okay, I still can't believe that he's, like, willing to, like, completely take off his head. Like, of all things, I'm still surprised that he could take off his head like that. It's just crazy. Um... Because, like, usually you wouldn't want to do that as a boss, but I guess that that's, like, negotiable for him. Like, he doesn't need to have a head, I guess. Which is impressive, because, like, usually most living things need to have a head. Well, I guess he still has a skull, technically. Okay, yeah, that's the end of me right there. Um, so I guess he still technically has his skull. It's just interesting that he doesn't, like, use it continuously. He just, like, straight up gets rid of it. Um, which is just crazy. Okay, let's see, let's, let's, let's try this again. Let's start and see if we have something, like, a weapon's a bit better. Um, that I can still use that doesn't, like, result in me falling apart instantly. Okay, so we want to grab you, which is blade-type sword. Uh, which then we want to switch for you. Blade-type sword, weight 9.1, what do you do? Physical attack, 10 plus, um, advance, you are storm slash, 50-50. Oh, you're identical to each other. Oh, what am I doing? They're, they're identical. What, what am I doing? Um, you are a thing for that. So we got amulets, which don't do anything. Usable items, consume. Oh, costume. Oh, there's different, like, little costumes that you can get. Oh, that's cool. Um, so what about you? What do you got for me? Can I at least grab alone? something that might be able to help you me in this, in this fight? Or is it kind of just like one of those situations where I'm just kind of toast at this point? Are you a your sword? Weight 6.3, 78, 79 plus 8, polished cells. You are actually worse than what we were using. Um, okay, cool. Okay, so basically just ignore that. Actually, is there any kind of... Oh, we might actually be able to use something. Okay, so there is an item that we can use for this. Um, so if we go over here... Move over here. Also, it turned out that turns out that if you press and hold space, you actually run around at like high speeds. Um, I didn't realize that we weren't uh, running around help. at full speed before. Because you know, it's how it goes. Now get hmm? Okay, so purchase here. Um, throwing cells, large uh, output battery can be thrown. We don't want to use you, but we do want to buy you. We want to buy up to three. So yes, we just want to buy you, and then we want to go over to you. Then we want to go down into here, consumable. And then we want to grab you, but then we want to put you down into here. Yes. What about you? What are you? Your throwable objects, we don't need to worry about you. Those are ergo. We can ignore those really quick. Gestures. Okay, those are just gestures and stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to do you. And then we want to go and grab this really quick, just so we can actually put that on here, so we can have electricity. And then that should be fine. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's, let's go with this. It should be fine. It should be okay. Um, I think, at least. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Parade Master. Okay, Parade Master is an interesting name, but also, dude, I think you need to get out of here. Come on, just get destroyed. My god. Come on. Okay, so it does work. Okay, so it just it increases the amount of um, attack that we can do, which is nice. Because being able to increase the amount of attack that we can do is so nice. Ow. That's, I, I honestly think that doing a parry there would have been better. Okay, cool. Okay, come on. There you go. Come on. Okay, cool. So basically just being relentless, so it does work like bleed. Okay, cool. So bleed is basically just like, think of it like bleed. Nice. Good enough. Come on. Um, okay, so we're going to want to do T. Then heal really quick. Then what we're gonna want to do is just no. Nope. Okay. Okay. So then we're just gonna want to be relentless again, and then just do that really quick. Okay. Cool. Get you down even further. Okay. And bring you down back down to your uh, thing here. Oh. Hey. Dodge through it. Nice. Okay. That's a really good option. Like that's a really good place to actually make a ton of damage. Like, make up a ton of damage so that we don't need to worry about it too much here. Okay, cool. We got you here. Let's grab you. And we are good to go. Okay, cool. Can parry. 
Okay, so I can't parry. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna deem that attack not variable. Um, at least for now, um, because it shouldn't. That that attack should work for me, but also at the same time, I'm just gonna deem it not parryable. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't do it. Okay. Okay, cool. So you can dodge through attacks. Okay, so iframes do exist in the game. Okay, sorry, I've been trying to figure out if iframes do exist or if they don't. Um, because it's been inconsistent so far, at least from what I've noticed, which is a bit of a pain, but also at the same time, it's fine. It's okay. It's all good to go. Ow! Oh my god, I'm still alive! I'm still alive! I'm somehow still alive! Um, how am I alive? I have no idea, but I will live with it. Um, oh, now I'm, yeah, I know I'm not alive. Okay. Um, okay, so now I just need to, in, instead of parrying, I need to learn how to dodge. <laughs> I need to learn how to dodge now. That is the only thing left for me to learn here. Um, let's see here. Okay, come on, let's go grab you. Um, da 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 da. Hmm. Da 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 the just dash is the just tap which is good to know so i can do a full okay so it seems like dashing isn't necessarily the full dodge because that okay okay thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay so i just need to press and hold it which is going to be interesting to do ow okay so i have to make sure that i'm looking a different way the hell Dashing is so weird. I'm just gonna stick to dashing, but dashing has like zero iframes. <laughs> oh god. Um, okay. Well, whatever. It's fine. Something in the universe. Come on. Okay. Cool. There you go. There you go. That's better. Okay. Okay. And dash. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. So then I can grab you. No, you're not also not gonna work. Come on. Okay. I know you can just. There you go. Ah, no, okay, never mind. Messed up the timing. There you go, that's where the perfect is. Okay, no, okay. Uh, get you out of here really quick, just so I can heal really quick. Get you out of here. Um, okay. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem. I'm having, okay, I'm having a, I'm having a harder time fighting this dude than the, than the guy in the bottom of the Erd tree, which is a problem. Because if I'm having trouble fighting this dude, I can't even imagine what the other bosses are going to be like later on in this game. Come on! Oh, okay, never mind, that doesn't work. Okay, so gotta go a little bit sooner. Like that right there. Okay, cool. Then we can do you. Okay, no, that doesn't work either. Okay, go a little bit sooner so that you can do that really quick. Get you down here, and then we can go grab you at full size and doing you like this. There you go. Cool. Okay, nice. And then we can do you and get you out of here. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, grab my Hekin shenanigans here. And we can just do full attacks here. Ow. No, 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 no. How did you hit me? I wasn't even in your attack range. Wait, do you have a longer range than I do? I mean, it makes sense because you're larger, but like also at the same time, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Okay, so no, there seems to be like a bit of a delay. Or not necessarily a delay, but it seems like the attack that this boss can do seems to reach further than what you would think? Also, why does he look like Eggman from heckin' Sonic? Like, that's not just me, right? That's not just me that he looks like Eggman from Sonic, right? Um, then again, it's like a similar style to him, so I guess, or like a similar, like he's basically the same profession, so I mean, it works out. Or like Sonic, but like realistic edition, I guess? Where Eggman isn't like less of an egg and he's more of like a humanoid shape, I guess? <laughs> because Eggman's like a literal egg. Um, okay. Is there no- okay, there's gotta be an item here somewhere or something that I can use to fight him. Because there's gotta be- there's gotta be something. Unless it's just straight up just comes down to you having to, like, just get destroyed for 
ages on ends. I. Okay, so the. Uh, what if I break you? Can I break you? No, I can't break any of you. Okay, so there's there's nothing there. Okay. Um. He is the intro boss. Wait, is he actually the intro boss? Damn. I am so toast then if this is just considered the intro boss. Um. Because, like, uh, you know uh, Dark Souls 3, right? Ah, uh, you know the intro boss of Dark Souls 3, right? It took me three years over, I think it was 30 hours of attempting to beat him. Um, it took me three years of over 30 hours of trying to beat him. Um, that was a long time. Um, Souls like he's turning on my forte. Um, hold on. Where are you? Come on, there you go. Ow. Ah, Dark Souls 2 is even worse. I haven't even left the tutorial area in Dark Souls 2 and it's been like... Five years? <laughs> Dark Souls 1 I haven't even touched yet. Um, Elden Ring is the only Souls-like game that I've actually gotten anywhere into. Like, actually managed to get anywhere in. Um, so I tend to uh, play a lot of Elden Ring instead. Come on! Just heck in. Just stay still. Come on, there you go. Ow. Okay, so I'm actually starting to choke a bit. Uh-oh, this is a problem. This is a very big issue. Ow! Heck, uh, okay, heal really quick because you're gonna back off really quick. Then we can grab... Come on, just give us one final one. Nope. There you go, that's what we're looking for. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay. Now sit down and take your damage. Um, yeah, no, I've, I've, I've always been a bit, uh, not exactly the best at Dark Souls games, which is fine, it's okay. It's just another skill to add to the list of skills that I gotta learn, or that I should learn at least, because knowing Dark Souls games, I'm likely to play quite a few of them in the future, so. I've got a lot to learn. Just gotta take diamond lane. Okay. There's no worries at all. Also, you know, I'd appreciate it if you didn't hit me with your head, because, like, you, you know, you know, you, you don't have a head right now, you should... Well, you technically do have a head, but, like, dude... Ow. There you go. Oh, so you can dodge it. Or you can parry it. What the hell am I doing? Come on. Uh, there you go. So just... So if I don't think I can dodge it, I'm just gonna parry. Ow. Um... Come on. Just heal really quick, just so I got a chance. Come on. Dark Souls uh, is just take time and patience, but it feels very nice. Your boss is, oh yeah, no, definitely. When I finally beat the boss at the bottom of the earth tree in uh, Elden Ring, that took me like almost two months of attempts to beat him. It took me a long while, but it felt absolutely amazing to finally beat him. Um, but it's okay. Um, then again, I'm also playing on a, um, version that I'm not used to, uh, keyboard and mouse. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes! <gasps> Wait, guys, I think it's happened. I think it's happened. Oh my god, thank god. Jesus Christ, that took too long. Oh my god. Also, I blew off his arm. Let's go! <laughs> we took his arm off! Let's go! What? No, I wanted to push his body around. I wanted to do some heckin', uh, heckin', I wanted to push his body around like a, uh, heckin' ragdoll. Aw, sad. It's a sad day. But also we beat him, so we're happy. <laughs> we're doing okay. We're doing better. Uh, there is no way. There's no way they didn't give us like a heckin' save point right off. No, they didn't give us a heckin' save point. No! Heckin' no! Also, thank you, Junior. Junior, I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but also, no! I can no save point. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go run back. That's a little key reward. Thank you, thank you. I got, okay, I'm gonna, I can sit down and just drink some water real quick. All right, guys, that took us, um, officially, that took us half an hour to do. Wait, hold up. How has it already been in half an, an hour and a half already in district? I felt, it's felt like 10 minutes. What the hell? Guys, guys, why has it been, how has it already been an hour and a half? Um... I, is that how long that boss actually took me to kill? Is that genuinely, were we at that boss for like an hour? <laughs> I swear to God, if we were at that boss for an hour. Um, that is concerning. Very, very concerning. 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well it's fine. It's okay. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back here just so I can actually heal and grab all my stuff back and like all my cells and stuff. And then what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go deal with everything after this. Alright, let's go. Let's go run. Let's go run through. Uh gee, we got you here. We do have like a little light thing, which is fine. We got you here over here. Okay, okay. Actually, Junior, have you played by any chance? Um Like have you played uh have you played uh Liza uh Liza Pi by any chance? Um or P. Sorry, Liza P. Um Because my god. This is gonna be a thing. This is definitely gonna be a thing. Uh are you a friend or a foe? You look like an enemy. Oh, I have to talk to you. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, Liza P. Uh, just a little on there. So far. Gotcha, gotcha. It's okay. It's okay. Hopefully you'll, be, hopefully you'll be able to play some more soon. Puppet cannot enter. Energy what? Energy insufficient? I'll just say insufficient. Investigate. What do you want? Greatest luxury you'll ever experience. Treat yourself to an uh, unforgettable day. Okay, gotcha. So we're going to want to continue going. Just One keep on going. Is that why we're called? Is that why we're? Is that why the game's called Lies of uh, P? Is because we have to go through and lie? Okay. Who am I? I am a puppet. Side puppets. Leave the premises. So far, yeah, but I wouldn't. Wonder the impact the lies have in the game. I'm sorry. That's actually a good point, actually. I'm kind of curious. Um. Okay. So what we gotta do is we have to lie and say that we're human. Okay. Cool. Wait. Wait. Hold on. We have to lie and say that we're human. Aren't we already human though? Wait. Wait. Wait, hold on. So, we're a puppet that can lie. That is interesting. Okay, so puppets under the grand law cannot lie. So, we're a puppet that can lie. That is interesting, actually. So, that's our entire thing, is that's why we're called, like, it's called the Lies of P, is because we're a special puppet that can lie. Oh, that is cool. I actually really like that idea. Hotel Kratz. Why do I feel like this is going to be very much like the, uh, Dishonored series? Like, it feels very much like Dishonored, but if it was a Souls-like, honestly. If, you, if you've played Dishonored, I don't know if you've played Dishonored, but uh, that's what it feels like at least. Um, because like, just the entire aesthetic and everything just feels so much like it. Also that ship, I want to I want to be on one one day. Like I want to be on a sailboat like that one day. It'd be so cool. It'd be awesome. Oh, oh it's an entire intro sequence for like the heckin... Okay, okay, I see, I see. Hmm? Although if you have the PlayStation, would rather much uh, recommend Bloodborne. Absolutely love the theme of combat. Definitely. I actually want to try and get Bloodborne, but the only problem is, is I gotta get a PlayStation for it. I have a PlayStation 4, but I was thinking about getting a PlayStation 5 for it. Um, so that we could, uh, uh, just so that we could, like, play, like, uh, through, like, also, like, the new Horizon Zero Dawn game. Um, I think it's, like, uh, not Forbidden West. That's the, uh, that's the DLC, but like the new Horizon, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn game and like other games too that are like on the Xbox Live. Or sorry, the PS5, not the Xbox Live, what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah. It's just, ah, it's so bright! Ah ha ha! No! Put away the brightness! Thank you. It's better. It's so much better. Hmm? Oh! Wait! So, the humans eventually got betrayed! Oh! So that's what happened. They eventually got betrayed and it basically became a zombie apocalypse. Technically. That makes a lot more sense for why all the uh, puppets are going insane. Um. Dang, that is crazy though. For them all to go this insane though, what could have happened? Like, was there some kind of like virus and stuff? Is that some Oh, really? I am tired. Mm. Heckin. <laughs> um, did it, uh, like, was there some kind of, like, 
like apocalyptic AI like rogue thingy that like took over their minds? Is that what happens? Because that would make a lot more sense, but also at the same time doesn't. Maybe they just had enough humans ain't so nice after all. True, that's a fair point actually. It's a very fair point. Oh, maybe she's the one controlling the, uh, the butterfly. Hmm? Come on, butterfly. Butterfly, I'm so no! Happy to see you. I am Sophia. She looks like she's straight out of Final Fantasy, actually. I've been waiting for you. Which one? So you must have questions. She also but reminds me a lot of the answers. guide from Elden Ring. Like a lot, a lot of the guide from Elden first. Ring. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. Okay. I'll explain more once you find him. Okay. Cool. That that checks out. Oh, then we can also talk to them to level up as well. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna do stamina. What's my stamina? Bigger! Increase my stamina to 20? Or 120? I think he's in shock. Wait, what do you mean by Gemini? There's and there's probably broken. because... Oh, it was probably, Gemini honestly. isn't so calm. I'm no inventor. But perhaps I can fix him. It's or possible. perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Are you... Krat is a labyrinth with... parallel right now. This watch will guide you to the Wait, so this watch can actually take Be us careful. to like... Oh, that's so cool. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Oh, cool. We got a pocket watch. Moon phase pocket watch. Pocket invaders must compile the pocket watch. Turns time. Turns... Oh, it turns back time and takes us back. Oh, that's cool. Okay, got you. All right, let's just run out of here. Let's get... Let's get... Let's get out of here just so we can go and... Uh, um... Just keep on looking. Go on and taking out everybody. Oh, we have to go. What? Oh, okay, cool. But to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Is that a fire axe? Is that a giant? Is is that a giant fire axe that you're just giving me? Is that what I think? Is is that what I think it is? Oh no. Uh, I, I guess we're just getting a grappling hook. Cool. Wait, but why are you giving us a grappling hook? What what is the reasoning for the grappling hook though? Um, Legion, Legion arm special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arms can modify to all sorts of forms. Modifications can be. We got you. Um, puppet string. Oh wait. Oh, so maybe it's something that I can latch onto them, like latch onto the enemies with, and just use them to pull them closer to me. Maybe. I I don't know. Let's go try. Uh, let's go test it out. Let's go see what it's like. Let's go see what this uh, shenanigans is here. Also, the fact that the inside of this place is all destroyed, even though there's no enemies here, is interesting. So maybe they came in, like, freed this place first, and then just, like, um, like, maybe this is, like, one of those places where they came in, freed it from all the, like, the automata, and then just, like, closed up all the gates and stuff, which could make sense. Kind of reminds me of, like, that one Black Ops game, or, you know the one Black Ops mission in, like, zombies where it's not zombies, but it's all automata? It's kind of, this entire, like, it, this entire game just reminds me of that. I just can't remember the map it was on. Because I know it's Black Ops 3. I just can't remember what map it's on because, like, it, it it's all automata that you're fighting. Wait, no healing! What do you mean no healing? Okay, fine, we just won't heal. Alright, sounds good. No, I guess we're just not gonna heal. That quickly back. Oh! Okay, cool, fine. Black Rabbit Brotherhood. What do you mean? I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. Okay. We'll talk later when we're safe. Oh, his name is Gemini. Oh, Gemini. So they're an actual person. Also, oh, hey, on, 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 holy, welcome, welcome. So it turns out that Gemini is a actual person. I thought they were just like an AI or somebody that's gonna help us out. I didn't realize that they're an actual person. Okay. Well, whatever. Um. Oh, so this is exactly what I thought it was. Okay. Cool. That works. Obtain, it's now mine. Okay. Legion Magazine! Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Hey, see him? Okay. How does that fit through? Ow. No, 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 no. Okay, so it turns out that getting. Okay, there you go. Huh. I wonder if. I wonder if you can get good enough with parrying to never take a hit in this game. 
Like, I, I genuinely wonder if there's anybody who just does, like, parry-only runs. Oh, where, like, they just, like, straight up don't even try to, like, not get hit. It's just they go through and just, like, not get, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Hi, dude. Get you out of here. There you go. Because it'd be kind of cool to see somebody do, like, a parry-only run of this entire game. But also absolutely terrifying as well. Okay, so we gotta go to the other side. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Checks out. Alright, let's keep on moving. Um, is there... There isn't a map in the game. Okay, that's interesting that they would decide to not have a map in this game. That is very interesting. That they just, like, didn't add a map. There's uh, plenty, but it's impressive. Hey, nice, nice. Okay, cool. Wait, are you a gun user? You are a gun user. Cool. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, okay, well, that is just disappointing. There you go. Ah, no. There you go. Ah, what? Did you just hit me from behind? Oh my god. Okay, so it turns out that I need to be a little bit more careful with, uh, heck and having them come after me. Okay, okay. Um, I wonder if there's, like, a way that we could, uh, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. You know what we're gonna have to do? You know what we're gonna have to do? Um, we're gonna just gonna have to do this real quick. So just go back to our, uh, other... Ah, oh, but then if we do it this way, we can actually get used to heckin' how this is done. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, so if I want to do multiple swinging, uh, things, so I have to... So there's a bit of a trick to it. So if I want to do multiple, like, round, it, round swings, so you do... First you do right, left, and then right again. And then you've got all three. Okay, cool. So there is a combos in the game. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure that I wasn't going insane and there actually was combos. Because, like, um, that's probably going to be my favorite combo out of all of them, to be honest with you. Especially considering the fact that it's going to be absolutely beyond useful for, like, everything. Okay. There you go. Okay, Doug goes out of here. Okay. Um... And what I can do is I can just do that, and that, and then that, right there. Okay, all three of you guys are out of here, and then we've got you over here, which I'm just going to finish off using this right here. Wait, there's another one from behind? Oh, that was sneaky. That was real sneaky. Ow, did you just, heck in, where did that guy come from? Where did you come from? From over there? Wait, why were you there, though? What the heck? Wait, hold on. How did they come in from behind, though? Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to go figure out where that dude came in from. Yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, where did he come from? Where did he go from? Where did he go? Uh, no, not Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, oh, oh, I keep forgetting that there's a dude. Oh, it's because I ignored him the first time. I didn't kill him. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, hold on. We gotta get you out of here. Get you, get you, get you. come on, get you both coming at me here. And that way I can get you guys both here. And then we can do you, and then we can do you. There you go. Cool. More items. Nice, nice. Uh, throwing cell. Oh, wait. Okay, so we can actually get a bunch of this stuff out here. Um, hold on. Because it... Okay, so from the proclamation of having you here. Ah, that's where he was. He was on the carriage. Okay, that makes a lot more sense that he was on the carriage. Um... There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, so the, uh, and Hitman? I haven't seen you. Uh, I can play some more. I do play uh, Hitman a bit, but not on stream. Um, I'm currently taking a bit of a break from Warframe because the amount of burnout that I have in Warframe right now has caused me to actually start to hate the game. Um, so, like, I, I, I don't want to touch Warframe right now before I, like, end up, like, putting it down for good for good kind of thing. Um, so I'm taking a break from Warframe entirely. Um, because I've played way too much of it. Um, I've also gotten to a point in Warframe where there's pretty much nothing for me to do. I've quite literally basically 100% of the game. Um, so I'm kind of just waiting for new content here. Um, no, no, like, I, I've basically finished Warframe at this point. The only thing left to do in the game is MR grind and Little Duck. That's it. I'm done everything else in the game. There's nothing else for me to do in the game. Um, I have finished every bit of standing, I have finished every single mission, I have finished every single everything. Yeah, no, everything, everything, even all the intrinsics, everything. I've fully built all of my railjack, I've fully um, gotten all the Daviri intrinsics, I'm done everything. Um, like, I've effectively 100%ed it. I've even finished the event kid standing kind of thing. 
Like that's that's how done I am uh, in Warframe. Yeah, no, that's why like at this point the burnout stage is like me just being done with the game because there is nothing left in the game. Um, except for like MR grinding and the final like bit for Little Duck and that's it. Um, but at this point I've effectively 100% of it. Um, I'm just waiting for new content. That's all I'm waiting for at this point. Um, hold up. That's why I've been doing everything but Warframe recently. Um, and Hitman- oh, okay, that's just embarrassing. I am getting worse at this by the seconds. I was doing fine, what happens? Um, hold on, let me see if I can get my heck in. Let's go, let's go get Steam open really quick. Let's go get Steam open so that we can do that, and then we can go add in you. Let's go see if I can actually get a controller working in the background here. Um, come on, let's go here. Grab you. Go over here really quick. Do you. Can I get a controller working? Um, okay, so if I go over to settings, uh, okay, so what we want to do is I just want to go to settings. I want to exit. So what we're going to do is close the game. We're going to close the game really quick. Um, no, no, we've already started to decline and we're basically already at the point of Warlord. Um, so we're pretty close to it, actually. Um, so like, yeah. We've also finished all the clan stuff. Like when I say we're done, done unholy, I actually mean we're done, done Warframe. Um, the only thing left for me to do is help new players, um, which I do plan on making a God's channel. It's actually why I'm taking a bit of a break right now because like I do want to make a God's channel, um, like a channel for like all uh, like a bunch of guides and stuff, not just for Warframe, but like everything that I do. Um, that's what the uh, God's channel is for. Um, but for now, I'm just taking a bit of a break from it because like my God. <laughs> I, uh, I played eight hours, eight to nine hours, almost 22 days straight. Um, and that's probably what did in the final bit of Warframe for me uh, at that point. That's probably the final bit of it that I could handle. Um, okay, so it seems like my controllers are not going to work for us today. Like, I, I don't actually have the ability to use a controller, like, at all, at all. Um, so we are good to go. I will not be doing controllers then. All right, cool. I just wanted to at least try to do like a controller thing because like it would be kind of nice to like at least try it to see if I could set up a controller for it. But no, nah, no, nah, I can't set up a controller. Um, okay. Now then, if that's gonna be the case, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If that's gonna be the case, we're gonna have to learn how to do this on keyboard and mouse, which is gonna be a little awkward. Which means that the next thing I'm gonna have to try and get is um gonna be like an Xbox controller. Uh, PlayStation controller through Steam. You can actually get through Steam. The problem is, is that I have to buy it through Steam, and I don't exactly have the income to be able to buy things from Steam uh, at the moment. Um, trust you, which is kind of a bit of a thing, um, which is fine. It's okay. Um, so I'm currently focusing on other things. Um, you can add it as a non-Steam game. Maybe we could try. Um, PS controllers. Well, it's because um, is PS controller compatible with Windows? It's not. Um, because Windows is uh not by default. No, you have to. Um, um, considering the game seems to solve too. Just speculation, depending on this game's ending, you think there was possibly, possibly, but it highly depends on the way that they do it. Um, okay, so what we're going to want to do if we're going to do this is we're going to want to go over here, add a game, non-Steam game? Yeah, add non-Steam game, location, browse, go over here, go to storage, I guess? Yeah, it'd be in storage, and then we gotta go find it here somewhere. Um, no, no, no. Where'd it be? Where would I put it? Where would where would I have put it? Where would I have put it? I would have put it somewhere. Hmm. Not stuff to sort because I know that's true. And then there's unedited vods, which is also true. That that wouldn't be it. Steam library? No, that's my Steam library. Hmm. Wait, it doesn't really matter though. Um, like nothing here on my PC is anything that could show anything of anything of uh, use. Um, Kalshi. Everything on my PC is built um, around my VTuber persona, at least this one. Um, so even if you guys could see what's going on on my PC, every individual file, you wouldn't be able to find, um, you wouldn't be able to find anything anyways. So you wouldn't have to worry. Um, da -da 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 -da. Good practice. Okay, why is it not here? It should be here, but I don't know where it is. No, that's Genshin. Better under games. No, that's Starvale. 
No, Ghost Recon, no, Life Duty, no. We folder, uh, Lies of P, Contents, Game Launch Helper, Engine, Is Is that it? No, that wouldn't be it either. I I guess I, I can't launch it through Steam then. I, I just found I found the Lies of P folder, but it wouldn't it doesn't show the actual .exe file for launching the game. What it does is it has a launcher helper .exe. The hell is a launcher helper? Um so yeah, that's 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 all that that is at this point. Um Yeah. I wonder. That is so weird. Yeah, so we're just not gonna have a we're just not gonna have a controller. Um so, no 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 no. See, the launcher helper is not the launcher. The launcher helper is what helps the launcher work. Um you need to find the launcher, but the problem is that the launcher isn't visible to Steam for some reason. So I guess at that point we're just toast. Um so it might as well just continue. Uh might as well just continue our shenanigans, which is fine. Alright, let's just continue this. Um I'll just have to get an Xbox controller, which won't be too bad. I'll just have to get it like next month or something. See if I can get it next month or the month after, maybe? I don't know. I have to get, an, I have to get a hard drive first um, because my current hard drive is in the brink of like, at the brink of like destruction, tearing, tearing itself apart. So I gotta get a new hard drive first um, before I get a controller. Um, there you go. Hold on. There you go. Okay, let's get you out of here. Um, you know what I could also do? I could probably just run past them. Here, hold on. I'm gonna go see if I can just run past them all. Because there should be... I should just be able to run past them all, right? There shouldn't be any issues. Hopefully, at least. Um, so if we just go over here... And then we go up here. Then we go over here. I'm basically pulling what I did in, uh... I'm basically doing the exact thing that I did inside of, uh... uh all the other Souls-like games that I play. <laughs> Giving every possible enemy that I can by just running through because I'm too lazy to actually fight them. Um, okay, they're all down there, which is fine. I can just completely ignore them. Oh, no, dude, get out of here. Thank you. Much better. Um, you are going to be a literal nightmare, which is fine. Okay, so they're slowly but surely increasing their health, which is a slight pain, but it's fine. Come on. Just sit still. Come on. Okay, there you go. Okay, sweet. Oh my god, I'm so happy that worked. I'm so happy that worked. Uh, so what happens if I just punch you? Oh! Oh! There's the heckin- that's the way down again. Alright, cool. Uh, do we even want to go there, though? Because there's gotta be something over here, right? Because there's- there's usually almost always something hidden over here, I think. Ooh! New enemy! Hi, new enemy! Oh, you actually have a- oh, you have a proper weapon. Oh, you have a proper weapon. Um... Well, if you're gonna use a proper weapon, I'm just gonna make your lifeboat absolute Shenanigans here. Come on. Okay, there you go. Ow. Oh god, that hurts. Looked it up. You add the helper to the exit team. I just tried that and it failed. Um Like I, I just tried to actually add it to Steam and it failed. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out after stream. Uh, I won't be able to do it here on the stream. Um Da -da 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 -da. Is it over here? Yeah, there should be something over here, I think. I think the ladder is over here. Because the ladder should be over here somewhere, unless it's moved over elsewhere. Wait, then where would the, where would the ladder be? Wait, hold up. Where do I put the ladder? Because the ladder's gotta be... No. Oh, it's over there. It's it's right there. Okay, never mind. We can swap. Alright, cool. There you go. Okay, now that we got you out of here, let's keep going. It's so it's interesting though that we have to like um do that. You know, what? hold up, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try this again. I I I need to figure out if this is actually the case. Um because like there there's gotta be there's gotta be a trick to it because Steam isn't the the program for Steam isn't weird enough for us not to be able to do this. Right? Um Okay, open, view, okay, select program, okay, um, most recent, no, mm, uh, lies of, no, it's not there either, what, um, what, it wasn't added though, wait, why wasn't it added, it should have been though, 
From what you said, it should have been added. What the heck? Little life lost, Mabinogi. Yeah, just go straight to Mabinogi. What the hell? It should have. What? It should have worked. What? Um. Hmm. No, that's not what we're looking for. Open. Okay. Okay. Game launch helper. Are you serious? Why? That is so weird. Why does it do it that way? Like it actually shows it as that. Look at that. Look at that. That is so weird. You can actually rename it. Okay. Thank God you could rename it. But like that is like one of the weirdest goddamn ways of doing that that I've ever seen. Um, Like genuinely. But now that we know that trick, I can actually use that for a lot of games that I play on like a lot of different platforms. Um, sweet. Thank you, Kashi. Um, But also, my God, do I hate that that actually works uh, the way that it did. Oh my God. That is so strange. Ah, uh, so Steam's controller support should allow you to use PS1. Hopefully, because my, my controller support always works. It, it should be fine. It almost always works the way that you think it does, right? But then sometimes, just sometimes, it likes to be a button and just not work. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop you really quick and then reset you. Um, because it should... No, 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 no. Shush. Get out of here. Thank you. Load. Okay, um, Steam is a little weird, uh, guys, in terms of like how finicky it is. Um, you have to have your controller plugged in before the game launches, which is very, very. If it's a PS controller, it has to be launched. It has to be plugged in before the game launches, which is very strange to think about, but also kind of makes sense. It is so strange. Uh, it's what I have to do with uh, all the Soulside -like games. And then, and then, even better, if you wanted the best part about it. If you unplug your controller mid game session, it crashes your games and then you can never load them again until you restart your computer. Um, or at least that's been my experience with it, which is like both absolutely amazing and one of the most annoying things in the universe. Okay, well, that confirms it. Um, controller support is no longer a thing. Um, additional content. Let's go over here. Controller. Uh, button settings, decrease, increase, reset, load sensitivity. Okay, so it was only built for Xbox controller. There's no uh, there's no support for PS. All right, well, whatever. All right, we're going back to uh, doing this here. You can't use controller settings in game. Um, I also, yeah, it doesn't work. Um, you have to map it in Steam, but it should auto map anyways. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. Like it, Steam has a really good way of like auto mapping things anyways. Um, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Like having to like remap keys for um, controllers is like one of the weirdest things in existence if you have to. Like the game has to really mess up, like royally mess up for you have to do that. Um, so generally speaking, you don't necessarily have to worry about it too much. But yeah, we're just going to continue with, uh, uh, with, uh, with mouse and keyboard because turns out that PS controllers are not supported by the game in general. So we're just toast. Um, there you go. Come on, come on, just, there you go, out, hold on, ah, uh, get you out of here, and then what we need to do is just, there you go, there you go, there you go, nice, how are you not dead dude, die, thank you, Jesus Christ, you took forever to kill, um, but I've not really looked into it yet, I need to get an Xbox controller, to be honest with you, I, I haven't touched Xbox since, like, the Xbox 360 because, like, none of the Xbox games have really interested me at all, to be honest with you. Um, like, in terms of, like, just, like, the exclusives and stuff. So it was kind of just, like, yeah, just, like, stick with PC. Because <laughs> PC has always just been better for me. Um, and then if I needed to, I could just, like, um, yeah, there you go. Also, the ergonomics for the, um, the PS4 controller just feels a lot better as well, just in general. Um, but that could just be me. Um... Because, like, then again, I did spend, like, years on the PS, like, the PS, uh, like, PS, uh, PS2 and PS3. Uh, it's what I grew up with. Um, so that might just be why I just prefer the PS4 controller over, uh, the Xbox. Which is so weird that they have to, like, have, like, um, uh, well, part of the reason- Ow! Dude! 
Why? Okay, well, we're just gonna heal really quick. And then we're just gonna get you out of here. There you go. Um, it's just because I've spent so long on them. Uh, like, I, I grew up with them kind of thing. Um, so it just feels weird to have a different controller in my hands. Like, for example, you know the, um, the controllers for, uh, what should we call it here? Um, y you know the controllers for, uh, like, um, uh, like the Switch and stuff? Those things are, like, the absolute definition of abominations. Like, in terms of just, like, how to actually, like, do controllers in the first place. Um, the Wii controllers were done better than the Switch controllers kind of thing. That's saying something. Um, it's so weird. Oh, you are so freaking tanky. Oh my god. Dude. No. Okay. Um, I have like absolutely tiny hands. Like my hands are like absolutely tiny. Um, so like for me, I, yeah, it's just weird. And has always had weird controllers ever since the uh, N64. Well, the N64 kind of makes sense. Like when, when you use the N64 controller, it kind of makes sense. I absolutely love it. Just the fact that I can't use a controller sucks though. Um, I have to do this. I have to play the game with the uh, keyboard and mouse and I can't use a controller. Um, we tried doing the steam workaround, but it still doesn't work. Don't rotate to the camera. Oh my Jesus Christ. Why would you do this to me? Okay. Uh, one three. Uh, one third is, this, is worth this. True. Fair point, actually. That That is a fair point. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not exactly a good time. I'll say that. Here, hold on. That would make a lot of sense. I really am not a fan of that. Oh, the dude's gone now. Oh, okay, got you. I can't. I am so happy that I rotated my camera like this, though. Um, I Though, Vader, I am absolutely loving the game, though. I will say that much. The game is absolutely amazing. Uh, just Junior and heckin everybody else have been making this like a legitimate living hell for me. Like the definition of actual living hell for me. Case in point. Um, there's probably a button to uh, recenter the camera. Nah, it's fine. It's okay. Oh, hey, Divine. Welcome, welcome. Going across a bridge that with like freaking the inability to see where the bridge is is not healthy. For anything. I can't do that. I cannot. I, I cannot pull the God of War shenanigans anymore. I used to be able to do it back in the days when I used to play God of War, but I can't do it anymore because I don't play God of War as much anymore. Um, because God of War has like really, really bad camera angles um, for like looking around and doing stuff, especially like the first and second game. Like the camera angles in them are like some of the most atrocious camera angles in existence. Um, the thing about it though is that um, uh, since they, um, since what do we call this? Uh, since they had really bad camera angles, you actually get really good at predicting where things are going to be, um, with how bad they are. Um, so it inadvertently actually makes you better at gaming because you have to get, you just end up getting used to the whole, like, idea. No! Frickity track! Ah, oh, god damn it. I dodged off the edge because I pressed spacebar. Why is dodge again? Why is dodge space? Okay, you know we're gonna remap everything. That's it. We're remapping the entire keyboard. We're, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go remap the entire keyboard. Hold on. Where's my controller? Where, where's my Where's my key settings? Go forward, backwards, dodge. You know what? We're doing control. No, we're gonna do. We're gonna do freaking shift. Oh, shift. Yes. Jump forward. We're also gonna do space because space is perfect. Switch to walking. You can be Z. Interacting is fine. You're about to see how weird my actual key mining is that I prefer is. Um, space, there is no jump. It's space. No, there is. It's literally just, no, there's forward jump. See? Forward jump. There's an actual jump. Um, like it's an actual thing. Uh, use both item. That's fine. Switch legion. Why do I feel like there's no way? It holds on. I can't change my parry. Wait, hold on. I can't change my parry? No? Wait, where's my parry though? Fable arts, lock on, use fable arts, control. What's my actual shift? Oh, that's right, guard. Um, it's gonna be that, and then charge attack should just be. Um, charge attack can be like what Q? Yeah, charge attack can be just Q. Um, that should be fine. There you go. What do you mean parry this, you filthy casual? Hold up, divine. No, 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 no. You wanna know why I'm doing this actually? Um, so the reason why I'm doing this is, uh, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm doing this is because of Assassin's Creed. Um, I, I played a lot of Black Flag on my keyboard. Um, so I got really good at, uh, parrying with my right click. Um, when I was playing Assassin's Creed a long time ago. 
So I actually prefer... And then I've got my uh, shift is my run again, and then we're good on that one. We're good on that one. Come on. There you go. See? <laughs> Alright, cool. Come on, dudes, just sit still. There you go. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I know. Heck in uh, Assassin's Creed can get, uh, especially Black Flag, it'll get you real easy to, uh, or get you to uh, build up your shenanigans by quite a bit here, which is nice. Oh, you can climb up fast. Oh, that's cool. Nice. All right, cool. Let's run away. Let's run away. Okay, we're doing a lot better now. We're doing a lot better now. Now that I don't have to do, what, control for shift or control for, uh for parry control for parry is such a weird button like why not just have that as like your or sorry no why not just have control or shift be your no 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 shift for parry that's the weird one sorry heckin sorry i forgot which one was parry for a second there um heckin shift for parry is such a weird situation to be stuck in there you go there you go okay and then shift being my dodge is much better i got you over here and then i can actually dodge now so I'm doing a bit of fat, like I'm doing a bit of fat rolling here, which is a bit of a problem, which is fine. It's okay. Oh, you are here. Oh, cool. Uh, dude, get out of here. Come on, just show you. Oh, oh, you can recenter the camera. Ow. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, it's going to take me a second to get used to heckin' dodging really quick here. Um, I'm just going to heal real quick. Twice, actually, because that's going to be much nicer to do. Come on. And attack. There you go. Come on, attack at me. Ow! No, that was not fast enough. Ow! No! No! Heck! Oh, you really do like having that heckin' attack all the time. Okay, get you out of here. There you go. I, uh, I, I swear I almost didn't die in that one bot- in that one fight. Um, you guys didn't see anything, okay? Nothing happened there. Come on. There you go. Okay, sweet. Obtain you. We got a throwing cell. I don't think I have anything else, though. I think it's just like- No! Why are you here? Dude, why? Thank you. Down you go. Get out of here. There you go. Just run. Okay, now I gotta remap my minds so I can actually start actually being able to like use the parry buttons and like all the, like, the re-key bindings that I did. Also, apparently uh, you can actually run up uh, things, which is actually really cool. Like you can uh, you can like run up ladders, which is something that I didn't realize was a thing that you could do. Ah, it's a sniper. It is very much a sniper. We are not going to deal with a sniper. We are going to avoid sniper. Sniper does not exist. Oh, snipers do exist! Oh, that's what shot me last time that killed me. Actually, that's the reason I died. No! No! Leave me alone. Leave me alone! Okay, trying to survive this is gonna be hella hard, but we can do it, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. We can do it. Okay, we've made it through. Okay, cool. Um, is there anything else in here that we'd like to touch and not have to deal with? You, my friend, exist, and we need to get you out of here. Thank you. Obtain item. Okay, cool. And let's just heal really quick just so we can actually survive getting up here. Okay, cool. Now, what is actually up here is the problem. All right. Hello! Hello, sniper. Bye, sniper. <laughs> I hate you, sniper, with an absolute passion. Oh, you're not a sniper. You're a grenade, uh, grenade thrower. Interesting. I love how they're holding uh, their hands up like they're going to be shooting us or something. Um, but they can't shoot us because we just end up all ultimately getting, like, destroying them. Which is absolutely amazing. Fable Catalyst is fine. It's okay. The Joker. Is that a boss? That is a boss. Hey, uh, guys. Seems like we're gonna get, end up fighting, uh, heckin' Ergo? Or Vigo? I think his name is. Vigo from Notre Dame? Y you know, uh, you know the, uh, Hunchback from Notre Dame? I think his name is Vigo, right? He kind of looks like Vigo a little bit. Just minus the hunchback. Wait, no, he's got a little bit of hunchback. It's like a tiny bit of one, I think, maybe? No, it's fine. But then Vigo's kind of like, Vigo's a sweetheart, though. He's awesome. It's just sad, it's sad that we have to fight him in this setting. It's such a sad day. It's okay, though. It's like a jackal. Oh my god, you're right. He kind of does look like a jackal, but if it was like on two legs, not four. Like if it was a bipedal, not quadrupedal. A quadpedal. The hell is that? The hell are you? What are you? Okay. 
Well, first of all, let's ignore you and then just deal with you the proper way. Come on. Come on, look at me. Look at me. Look at me, dude. Oh, you are. Thank you. Oh, you are a lot meaner than I thought you were going to be. Okay. Um. Okay, only attack when I get the opportunity to. Do not attack under any other circumstances. Got you. Oh, you're a side boss. I'm not even supposed to be fighting you. Oh, okay, got you. Ow. Dude, that was my face. I need that. I need my face, dude. Ow. Oh, he just one-tapped me. All right, cool. Uh, okay, so, dude, I, I need my face. That would be much appreciated if I could just keep my face real quick. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta keep on moving. We gotta keep on moving. Ah. Uh, oh, God, we gotta go through all of that all over again? No. Okay. Fine, we'll do that again. Also, by the way, when you parry, you can actually heal from uh, taking damage. So your parries actually let you heal from taking damage. So what you can do is you can parry and out heal the damage that you're taking if you can, um, which is actually kind of cool because it means that theoretically speaking, if you can heal fast enough, you don't need to worry about even taking damage in the first place, which I am terrible at dodging or even um, keeping myself safe here. But like case in point here, there you go. Oh, that was a perfect parry. That wasn't intentional. Actually, that was really not intentional. I shouldn't have perfect parried there. Um, but heck in, uh, when you do not, when, when you don't do a perfect parry, you can actually, if you wait a bit, you can heal from it. So you don't need to worry too much about it. Also, you know what's funny? It tells you how many souls you're missing so that you even have like a like little bit of extra even like uh, extra like um, like incentive to like get your stuff back. It's great. It's awesome. It's absolutely amazing. Ow! Dudes, back off. Um, sorry? Oh, the Hunchback's name was uh, Quas Quasmodo. Really? I thought it was heckin' Vigo. I thought his name was Vigo because it's like, that's uh, that's what I remember his name being. Or is that the nickname that he was given to shun him? Wait, was that, was that his name? Or was that like a nickname that was he given? Because there's no way that his name wasn't just Vigo. There, there's no way that there wasn't Vigo somewhere in the uh, like the qu equation there, somewhere. Because like, um, I remember his name, or like somebody calling him Vigo, or like just his entire existence being Vigo. I don't remember him, um, his name being Cosmodo though. Um, that, that is so strange. Why don't I remember that name at all? I can remember the fact that his name is Vigo, but I can't remember that. It's just so weird. I, I know, but it's so weird. Heck. Why? Okay, then what other Disney character that's named Vigo? Wait, because I know that there's another, there's another Disney character's name that's Vigo. Vigo's the, one of the gargoyles. Gargoyles? Wait, actually? Wait, hold up. Wait, Vigo was the name of one of the gargoyles from the Gargoyles movie. Hold up. Am I just mixing up movies here? Because the, there's no way. There's no way I'm fucking just missing, mixing up uh, movies that bad, right? Oh wait, there's gargoyles in the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Okay, sorry. I heckin- there's also- there's an- um... There's another, uh, movie called, uh... There's another movie called Gargoyles, um, that Disney released. Um, oh, no, 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 we're just talking about just different names because I keep on mixing up uh, Disney names. Um, there's another, there's another movie called Gargoyles, um, that's like from like 1986 or something. Um, it's super old, but an absolutely amazing movie. Um, about like a love story between like a gargoyle uh, king, I believe, and like a citizen of New York, I think it is. He just ends up continuously saving her and not intentionally, it just ends up happening all the time. Um, but yeah. Yeah, that movie was kind of dark, but also, let's be honest here, it's pretty good though. <laughs> um, Gargoyles is his TV series. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that there was, um, really for his uh, time like Batman Beyond. Really? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, that Gargoyles movie was an absolute, like, amazing movie. Um, like, to be honest with you, if it was, like, released nowadays, it would it would do really well. I wish it was, though, because, like, the animation that they could have done for that would have been so cool. It would have been so cool. But sadly, they wouldn't be able to... I don't think they would be able to make a remake of it, actually, speaking of which. 
Ow! Dude, stop with the head. No head. No head allowed. Um... Ow! Stop it! Okay, I just need to stop getting hit by him for a little bit so I can actually heal. Yeah, I did have a movie. Um, sorry, we're, we're talking about the movie right now. Um, because, like, the movie itself did actually, like, um, from what I remember, it was, like, a love story between, like, a gargoyle and, uh, like, a citizen of New York, but, like, all the gargoyles end up getting hunted by, like, the, uh, by, like, the police and, like, uh, the military and stuff, eventually. Um, ending up with them having to turn back to stone for their own safety, I think, at the end. I think that's what ends up happening. Um, though I could be mistaken. Um, because from what I remember... He doesn't end up like the the main gargoyle like dude that's like oh god damn it um oh hugo yeah no 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 the name hugo sorry not a vigo what am i talking about hugo hugo is the name that i'm thinking of thank you vader <laughs> sorry um sorry that that's the name that i was getting mixed up what was another name hugo not uh vigo but then there's also another guy named vigo i i keep on forgetting the names and all that i haven't seen it since like, I genuinely haven't seen any of these movies that I'm talking about, by the way, since I was, like, six or eight, kind of thing. These are the kind of things that I used to watch when I was, like, yeah, no, like, six to eight years old. Um, so, like, a solid, like, easy 12 to 13 years ago. Um, like, it's surprising that I could even remember that, like, half of what's happening in some of these movies. Come on, there you go. Let's get you out of here. Just keep on moving. All right. Ah, uh, that's one of the- Oh, that's one of the gargoyles! Oh! <laughs> okay, so I am mix- uh, So I am mixing up some, uh, stuff, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It being the gargoyles, though, is fine, it's okay. It's good to hear, though. Um... That I'm not going totally insane. I'm- I'm slightly insane. Oh, that was Hugo? Wait, are you sure? So I'm not going insane. Already listed the uh, gargoyle's name in Hunchback. No, 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 we're talking about in the movie. We're talking about the movie here, Kelshi. Uh, there's one named Hugo inside the movie as well. Or Vigo. Vigo, I think? Hugo. Oh, Hugo or Vigo. One of the two. Um, they're, they're named, uh, there's one that's named like that in uh, the movie as well. Um, I don't know if it's the main character, but I do know that it's one of the characters at least. Not that much. Um, that one boss is going to turn into the bane of my existence. I might just have to run past him. Um genuinely just so i can get to a save point that's like closer and then what i'll have to do is i'll have to um oh you're talking about the hunchback movie okay so i'm not going insane all right i am going insane okay cool we've established that i'm going insane at this point okay cool sounds good um oh there's doggo i can hear the puppy he's the puppy hi puppy oh my jesus christ dude get out of here with your shenanigans please and thank you thank you that is better okay cool I am now safe away from the shenanigans. Okay, cool. We are good to go. Okay, bye dude. Okay, well first of all, what I want you to do is just sit still inside there. There you go. And we can get all of our stamina back really quick. Ow! And then we can heal really quick, really quick. Okay, cool, we've healed. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna do the most dangerous thing possible. We're gonna wanna run past this dude. I'm pretty sure the only way past him is by running. Oh, there's a save point right here. What am I doing? I could have gotten to the save point. This oh, there's an enemy. Are you flipping serious? The dude came with me? Oh my god, really? Really? Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'm kind of stuck in this situation now. Ow. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Ow. Life amulet! Let's go! Okay, well, first of all, let's get this guy out of here. Come on! I just need to get two more hits on him. There you go. Okay, cool. No, 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 no! Run away! Okay, heal! <laughs> Okay, 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 human, um, Aliza Maza. Oh, he got you, got you. Nice. It's good here. Oh, he's literally taking a bite out of us when he does that. Okay, got you. Cool. Ow. 
I can't remember how to do heavy attacks. Uh oh. Um, how do you do heavy attacks? Um, forgetty frack. Um, I think. It, oh no, I can't remember. Oh, it's Q. It's Q. It's Q. Okay, cool. Um, I just need to get out of here. Oh, and that's my death. Oh my god. No, I changed it to Q, Vader. I, I changed it to Q. Um, I changed it to Q because, like, my right click. Uh, so, keyboard's really weird. You can't, there's no hold buttons unless you're doing movements. All the attacks are different keys. Um, Junior, I'm going to opt into ignoring that specific redeem. Um, because I specifically can't do anything if I can't kill. Like, this game is entirely killing based. If I can't kill, I can't progress. Um, I mean, I can do that until I can get all the way to the mini boss, but I'm not going to be able to ignore it past that. Uh, or I'm not going to be able to do the redeem until I get to the mini, uh, after I get to the mini boss. Uh, no, 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 that's what I mean. Like, I'll be able to do it all the way till I get to the mini boss, but after that, I'm not going to be able to, uh, uh, I'm not going to be able to follow that redeem, I'm sorry. Um, hold on. Uh, so basically what we have to do is we have to do this. Okay, run past here. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you, guys. Um, hold on, there you go. Let's keep on doing you here. We've got you down here. Okay, keep on running. Just keep on running really quick. There you go. All right, cool. We are good to go. All right, cool. We got you down here. Okay, cool. Yes, I can dodge him. All right, cool. Um, trying to follow the like no, the no killing rule though is gonna be difficult. Like really flipping hard. Ah, uh, poison areas in the game. Ah, uh, uh, soul skins very much get that. Uh, poison areas and soul skins. Very much. Wait, there's poison areas and soul skins? Hold up. I don't think I've ever actually seen any of those areas in any of the souls games, actually. Speaking of which. Oh, god damn it. I actually have to kill them. Okay. Let's just kill them all. There you go. Okay, cool. Yeah? What's up? Um. Have I been to kill it? Yes, I have been to kill it. Wait. Oh, is that considered a poison area? Oh. Okay, got you. They're like. Ah, uh, there's like four. Okay, got you. So that is a poison area. Okay, cool. Ergo recovered. Just stay behind. Leave me alone. It's called, uh, it's also indeed, uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Let's not go back to Kaylid. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Kaylid isn't bad. It's just really annoying to have to do. Like, in, in, in every regard. Uh, switch to Legion Arm. Use storage. Talk with Gemini. Okay, no, we're not going to talk with Gemini. But what we will do is we will go, uh, we're going to go kill this dude. Um, because I want to go kill him. Come on. Come on. Okay, so he does multiple attacks here. Okay, okay, come on, come on, ow. Okay, okay, um, so what we're gonna wanna do is do this real quick, and then what we wanna do is do you. Okay, they're like missing their entire face. They kind of look like Penguin from Batman. Y you know the Penguin villain from Batman? Their face kind of looks like it, honestly. Ow. Come on. Ow. No. Brickety frag. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Hey. It worked. Nice. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh my god, guys, it finally happens. It finally happens. Oh my god. Thank god. Also, I'm going to do something really quick that's going to make this even worse. Um, so you guys know how um, I'm going to attack special attack and charge attack. Let's do... Oh, no. Okay, the game doesn't support multiple uh, key buttons. So I have a massive amount of buttons on the left side of my mouse that I like to use for certain abilities and stuff. I was going to use that for activating my abilities, but it turns out that it doesn't actually accept those buttons. Like, it just straight up doesn't accept them. 
So it turns out I can't use my extra buttons for stuff. I'm Jiminy, um, your friendly puppet guy. I'm so sorry. Friendly I was gonna guy. make it easier for myself, but I guess that's uh, not gonna happen. Knows? I'm also a friend of Sophia's. Okay, gotcha. Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Oh, so he's lost his memory. Oh, me, okay, gotcha, gotcha. You. So he's completely lost his memory. Which is interesting, actually. Switch Legion arm, use storage. Oh, I can just store items. Wait. I know we'll store a mountain bag. So what if I do this here? Hmm? Most games won't accept uh, route input from extra buttons. Gotta remap this buttons to standard keys if you normally want to reach. Really? I've always found it easier to like be able to like... I didn't know. I know what you're doing. Don't worry. For your information, I didn't. Cool. Just makes me more sus of what you actually did here. Um. Okay. Cool. So temporary. You Gemini's energy, emergency protection. Temporarily protects death or go when hit. Food and cricket puppet. So help the Gemini when users death or go to reclaim it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. Oh, cool. Uh, model is designed so it fed Ergo. So it temporarily affects it. So that's fine. That's okay. And then these are two different weapons. Okay. Cool. Um, I, I I always like play MMOs and stuff. So like for me, um, I, I've always like had the MMO experience of like where they automatically already like um, give you access to uh, extra buttons. Like you can already have access to them. So you don't have to remap them anymore. Um, it's just really strange to have to do that like at all. Okay. Dude, get out of here with your gosh darn shenanigans. Ow, dude. Okay, I might actually die here, not because of heckin' a boss, but because of these two. Ah, yeah, no, we're dead. Okay, so it really does come down to you. Okay, cool. Um, You know what? I'm going to bring out my heavy weapon. That's it. We're bringing out the heavy weapon. We are bringing out the heavy weapon. Um... Wait, unless we have some- wait, hold on, I got an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um... I have a very important idea. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on you since the gunner can't really keep up with you. Then we can do you. Ow! Wow, you are tanky. No! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Okay, thank god. Okay. The, the, the AI couldn't figure out what to do. Okay, thank god. At least I'm safe. At least I'm somewhat safe now. Okay. Thank god. We're good. We're okay. Oof! Okay. Sounds good. There you go. Get you out of here. There you go. Heal really quick uh, when we're not in combat. I'm gonna regret walking over here as I thought so. Okay, cool. Okay, we're safe now. Nice. Uh, what about getting up here? That's the only question I got now. Because, like, exploring all these areas... <gasps> you know what would be really cool is if we got, like, a Spartan kick? That'd be awesome. So we could just, like, Spartan kick enemies off the edge. Then again, I can also understand why they wouldn't do that. Specifically because it would be very out of place. And second of all, um, it'd be probably one of the most overpowered and broken items in the game. Or abilities in the game, at least. Oh, and you took full fall damage. Damn. I am so sorry, dude. I am so, 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 so sorry. <laughs> um, wait, where do we go? Anyways, where, where do we? Oh, no. Again, is it up there? It's probably up there. No, it isn't up there. What? Okay, never mind. We don't go up there. Is it over down here? I can sense something. What? Strange. Jeepers. What? Is that a butterfly? It is a butterfly. Why are they, the are they friendly or are they enemy? Like Wait, are they are they friendo or the enemy? Out, I can take point. Yeah, no, I'll I'll go check it out. I'll uh I'll go check out what's going on here. Is it a boss? I swear to god if it's a boss. That's a boss. That that there's no way that isn't a boss. Um Hold on. There, there's yeah, it's gotta be a boss. There's no way it's not a boss. Wait, 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 wait. Um occasionally dimensional butterfly will appear in uh, parts of Krat. Uh, Monad's lamp can detect the butterfly lighting uh, up in red point in this location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After it amount of certain, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. So I have to go kill the butterfly. 
Okay, so it's not that it's showing where the boss is. I have to just go kill it. Okay, cool. Investigate. Warning. Ah, uh, petrification disease, quarantine zone, no trespassers, anyone? Okay, gotcha. So it turns out that there's a petrification disease, apparently? Which is both concerning and kind of cool to think about. Wait, hold on. If there's a petrification disease, doesn't that technically... Oh boy, it's one of these dudes. Um, doesn't that mean that some of the humans got turned into dolls, I guess? Wait, yeah, no, no, that's exactly what that means. Uh, it's because the dolls, like, the humans would be turned into dolls then. Ah, uh, by doing, go buying that, uh... Going by that, uh, heckin' logic. Okay, hold on, let's grab you. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, no. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. It's okay, it's okay. Butterfly, butterfly is okay. Butterfly is okay. We can always just avoid it. Mm. We should be okay, yeah? It should be, it should be fine. There shouldn't be any problems. Let's go discover what we can go discover. Um, okay, we got you here. So the only problem now is if we can go find out and see if there's a... Okay, I'm gonna completely... Oh, there's so many dogs down there! Wait, those are the, those are the doggos that we were fighting before! Okay. Okay, uh, can you use the rope uh, on bigger enemies? You can, but it doesn't do enough. Like, it doesn't do any kind of like damage or anything. So... It does work on, um, so what it does do is it does, oh, hidden moonstone. Oh, moonstone's from, uh, not from this world, however, it's most optimal. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I guess we're just not going to see what the rest of that was. Inventory, what are you? Where are you? No, that's rare egos. I want to go to materials. There you go. Upgrade normal weapon blade up to plus three. Oh, you can upgrade weapons. Wait, hold on. Where do you go to upgrade weapons then? Hey, guys, do you guys know where to go to upgrade weapons? Um, because I have no idea. Um... Unless you gotta go over here, switch the blade, storm slash, um, concentrate a mountain bag. Uh, let me get you here. Okay, so we got you here. Let's go over here. Articles, life amulet. Oh wait, hold on. I've got to move to equipments, amulets, equip, and then we gotta do yes, yep. And it increases max HP. The amulet can be equipped on a puppet. Okay, cool. Oh, cool! Yo! We just got a ton of extra XP. Or HP. That's cool. That's awesome. And then we can just go and go down like this. I just love it when they make it so that you can just like slide down with like metallic arms and stuff. It's always cool. Um... Is there anything down here that I want to go grab? No, there's nothing out here. I do need to go destroy you though. Ow! Ow! There you go. Oh, you're using a freaking... Ow! Frick! That combo is deadly! They're using a pipe! No, a giant bat. That's that's a giant bat. Um, so yes, you can use the rope on the giant enemies, but like what it'll do is it'll just do a little bit of damage instead of actually getting like tied to them. Um, instead of uh, pulling them towards you. It is so weird. Wait, do we have to go here to do it? Um switch legion arm. Puppet string trace, legion arm, change. Oh, and then you can change between two of them. Okay, gotcha. Uh, teleport to... Oh, and then these are just tele different teleportation places. Uh, station Plaza. Uh, Crowd Station Plaza. What if I want to go over here? Oh, this is the uh, alley that we ended up sta starting in. Okay, gotcha. So what we wanted to go do is we want to go to the alley to start in. And we're going to want to go back into the hotel and we might be able to... Do some stuff in the hotel. So, would I be able to upgrade my weapon in the hotel, or do I want to talk to you? Or is it you that I want to talk to? No. There's something. Um. Uh, where in the world is the heckin? Where did the heckin? Oh no, it's nowhere to be found. Oh. Yeah, I wanna go find it. It's okay. There's gotta be some kind of like place to upgrade your weapons because like there's no way that we wouldn't be able to just upgrade our weapons, right? Unless they would just like decide not to give us the ability to do so. Which would be kind of strange if they did. Like if they just like took away that ability from us. It'd be very strange. Okay, let's go here. 
Do I need to do the test again or can I just walk in? That's the real question here. No, I can just walk in. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, but then I don't have a teleport point back. Is it because there's um some kind of like special thing here that's like stopping me from teleporting back? Or is it just because I want to go talk to this over here? Maybe? I'll say we're look okay. Oh no no no, it is! Oh, it's because I hadn't actually unlocked it yet. Oh, that's why. Also think it think it think it think it think it. Um it is so strange. I want to go talk to you. The sound of it must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce hmm. myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. Okay. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. So it is her that we want to. Oh, <gasps> Kato! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Most important question: Can I pet the Kato? Can can I pet Kato? Oh my god, they let you they let you pet Kato. Wait, Kato's not happy. Oh poor Kato. Why won't you let me pet you? I wanna pet you. I, I wanna pet you. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. Thank you. Aw, they're not gonna let me pet me. They're not gonna let me pet them. Oh, sad. I wanna pet the Kato though. Kato doesn't let me pet you. Yeah, it's such a sad day. I wanna pet them though. They look so petable. Aww. Okay, okay, we'll leave you be for now, Kato. We'll come back and see how you're doing later. Oh, we'll come, we'll come back and see how you're doing later, okay? And I swear to God, if Kato does not survive to the end of the day, I I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a few choice of words with this game if this Kato does not survive. Because, like, you know, there's no way that they would just take away Kato, right? There's no way that they would just take away Kato, right? <laughs> Kato. Hmm? Also found my weapon. Hey, nice one. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Just make sure you don't say anything else because uh, passwords must be kept safe. There's a reason my passwords are called passwords and not um, safe words. Or open words, you know? Use that password. We gotta keep the passwords. Okay, cool. Let's keep on going. Alright, cool. What we're going to look for now is we're going to go get the rest of our heckin' ergo. Because I want to go grab the ergo and then I want to go... Um, I want to go upgrade our weapons really quick just so we can actually do a little bit more damage. Because as it stands right now, we really need that extra damage. That that extra damage is going to be so sweet to get. Um, Come on. Okay, so we want to go down here. We want to go over here. Wait, I hear somebody saying it's dark. I can't see a thing. There's somebody speaking. There's there's somebody speaking over here. Are they below? They could be below. Hmm. Oh, let's just say I can play Cyberpunk again. Where is that when I'm ultra with free tracing? Max of it. Average. Hey, nice one. So you average are on the same idea. Let's get here. Um, I do plan on playing when the DLC comes out, but that won't be for a little while. So I'm just not going to be uh, playing any, uh, any heckin' uh, stuff for a little while here. Which is fine, it's okay. I'm just chilling, having a great time. Okay, we're going to go find that person afterwards. I just want to make sure that we can spend all these uh, points first. Because I don't want to lose these points, because, my god, losing the point these points right now would be such a sad day. It'd be so sad to lose 3,000s. Things, especially this early on, losing 3,000 would be like the equivalent of like losing like a crazy amount of upgrades, like an insane amount of upgrades. So like we, we don't want to lose that actually, like at all. Ah, uh, Cassini Alley, ah, uh, Crop Plaza. Let's get a Crop Plaza. Let's go see what Crop Plaza is like. Um, I can do that video repaired. What is that thing in the background though? Is there like some, <gasps> wait, was there some kind of like cult that came through? And caused all the stuff that happens, like what's happening, is that why? There's no way that a cult came through and that's like the reason why like everything's like broken down. It'd be kind of cool though if it was, but then again also kind of sucky at the same time. What the hell? Oh, I went back to the beginning of the game. I went all the way back to the beginning of the game. Ah, uh, that was not intentional. 
I didn't want to go back to the beginning. We're gonna have to leave this be then. I still can't believe the horse's back foot is just like on backwards. DLC is out in three days. Damn. Okay. Well, we'll have to do, uh, wait for a little bit then. Ba -da -ba. I'll have to go. Uh, it might. I might not be able to play it the day that it comes out because, like you know, it's it's like legitimately the day that it comes out. But I should be able to play it um, a little bit, like that week or so. It should be nice. It should be really nice, you know? It should be all good to go. Because Mondays, I make sure that I don't have Mondays. Because Mondays are... Like, I can't I can't stream on Mondays because Mondays are like... They're, 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 they're just like stupid busy. So it's fine though. It's all good to go. There's no worries at all. Alright, let's go hack and just continue searching. What? Okay, first of all, I hack in... I need to hack and continue this. Is there going to be some kind of, like, secret? Because there's got to be some kind of secret, right? There's no way that there isn't just, like, some kind of secret to, like, this entire game. Because, like, I know that you can parry everything in the game. Like, if you know the- if you know where to parry, like, where to wreck, like, you can just, like, parry anything. The only problem is, is that parrying is going to be very confusing. Like, very, very, very confusing. Also, why can't we teleport to the inside of this place? Why can't we just teleport here? Why do they make us have to run that far every single time? There's got to be some kind of way to teleport here. Or some kind of, like, spot that we can use to teleport here. Or, like, hidden teleportation sequence or something. Because there's no way that they're going to force us to teleport every single time. Okay, this is the training arena. Okay, so this isn't where we're looking for. Okay, so... Well, first let's go grab you and go do this. Upgrade weapons. Yes. We want to upgrade blade. Yes. Blade plus one. Upgrade. No materials! No! Heck, uh, after handler. Hmm, what's that? You can bring uh, your cracks to the altered weapon. Weapon handles. Each handles properties upgrade based on your uh, character's default abilities. Okay, gotcha. Motive. Uh, motive crank, advanced crank, balance crank. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's training. No. Okay, let's go. Let's go see if there's anything else that we can do. So there's gotta be something here. There's gotta be some kind of like secret. Or something that we can like talk to. Or something that we can interact with that can like let us be able to teleport here every time. Because like they're not being like a way to teleport here is very, very strange. Also, the fact that the marble is this, like, reflective is just crazy. Like, genuinely this crazy. Because, like, um, for the most part, yeah, there's no teleport in here. That is so weird. Why would they choose not to put a teleport here? Is it just to make it so that it deters us from coming here often? I actually don't know. That is so weird. Why deter us from coming here, though? Wait, can I use storage? Slightly heavy. That is a-okay. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go here. Space store. Space. There you go. Everything has been stored inside of here. Amount out of here is 0 to 5 out of 99. Oh, so it just ends up storing everything inside of here. Okay, gotcha. Uh, materials I can just put inside my storage as well. Handles, blades. Um, okay, I can't store you. I don't think I, I have you on me because I need you. You I can store because we don't need you. Okay, yeah, there you go. All right, cool. Uh, use this, and then what I want to do is I want to go teleport to another place. Oh, I can literally just press R to go back to... Oh my god. I, I didn't even notice that that was that there's a literal key binding to just teleport back to the hotel. Never mind. I've just been doing the hard way this entire time. God damn it. I I should really start like looking at all the UI elements and like actually paying attention to things because like that that would that would really help a lot, you know? <laughs> just a little bit. Just just a little bit, you know. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, inside the uh house of Okay, so we're going to be in the boulevard here. Okay, so Quest, uh, number one quest of this place, just do not die. Come on, come on. There you go, okay, cool. 
We've got two of you. We got two here. Okay, so everything else is here is good. We got two here. Okay, so running around may not be the smartest of ideas. Oh, dodging into people sti staggers them. Interesting. I wonder if I can use that mechanic later. Oh, hail and wolf. Look, welcome. Meow. Hi, Dion. What you been up to? Um, we're currently playing a bit of um, a game called Lies of P. Basically, we're a puppet that can lie, because apparently puppets aren't allowed to lie, so we're a puppet that can lie. Um, which is basically just a souls like. That's, that's the entire premise of the game, at least from my understanding, is that it's almost entirely all souls like and stuff. Rixie, yo! Free hackin' or go. Let's heck and go. Um, hold on, let's keep on searching. No, I just need hack and go over here. Um is somebody saying it's dark, I can't see anything, but there's nothing. There's nobody here. Which is the concerning part, because like usually if you hear somebody saying that, there's somebody here. But there's nobody here. Not right now at least. Um Unless they're over here. Oh, it's her! For some this minute. must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. Interesting. For most people, this is their last stop. Also, guys, you see that dude in the background that's like creeping around? That's a boss. That, that's a boss. Um. I want. May I ask you a favor? Sure. My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless, just the same. Jesus, okay. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Card City Hall and bring me my baby. Based on tropes that I know, we're going to get back here. And she's gonna be dead. Thank you so much. Um, almost guaranteed. Like we're gonna come back here, and she'll be dead by the time we get back here. Just based on uh, just based on like any of like the tropes that I know from these kind of games. Please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? Because yeah, that's how it goes. Uh. Hey! This nice. It's good to hear. It's really good to see Lone Wolf. Yeah, no, uh, heckin, once you get later on into the game, it's either the content slows, like, the content slows down and it just becomes, like, entirely just grinding. Um, entirely. Just, like, for prime mods and other things as well. Um, for the most part, at least. Prime mods and prime warframes. Uh, and there you go. Nice! Come on! No! No! I was so close! I was so close! Wait, Baro actually brought a purple co uh, color palette? Oh, damn. I'll have to go grab it after uh, stream then. I'll have to go grab the purple color palette after, after stream. Just so I can actually have it. Unless I already have it because I have like a crazy amount of them already. Um, So I'll have to go make sure that I actually get it. It's like the... uh. That's like the number one rule at least is like make sure that you get every single color palette in the game because they are not common at all. Like at all at all. Like not even in the least. In fact, um, um, I didn't even- oh no! Yeah, no, I can, uh, you probably already have it though, Kelshi. Um, oh you didn't check which one he brought? Oh yeah, that would be, that's uh, um, Da -da 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 -da. I've been dying uh, for good colors. Um, okay, got gotcha. you. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, no. Ow. Messed up on that one. Ow. That's a triple. I keep forgetting which combo is the triple. Okay, cool. Healing in the way. Okay, that's the triple. Okay, so he follows in through with a bit of a that right there. No, that's a different attack. Okay, cool. Ow. 
Okay. And then we're just gonna run away because I'm gonna be lazy with this. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna fight him. Ow! Dude! Dude! You didn't have to do that. You could have literally just left it. Oh god, he's summoning a bunch of people. Uh oh, this is a problem. This is a very big issue. I need to keep on running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Open the door. 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 <laughs> okay, cool. Alchemist's bridge. Nice. Oh god, all the enemies are here. Oh no, they have walked away. Cool. Um. Okay, they have all walked away. There's a sword user. A literal. Uh, oh, it's eminence. I probably already have eminence, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, there's people? Wait, there's people here! Um... Highly recommend if unknown, yeah? You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father! You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! Dude, you sound like fanatic. What's your problem? Unless... I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't <laughs> sneak past me. You're a boss. Oh. You're you're a boss. I didn't... Oh. Um. Yeah. I... Destroyed um. So... Donkey, well, we need to like have a bit of a chat here, okay? You can't, you can't just like walk into here and then one tap me. That's not how this works. <laughs> okay, let's go feed. Let's go. Uh, uh, it is very. It's more like Elden Ring than Dark Souls. Um, it's a lot more like Elden Ring than Dark Souls. Um, but close, yeah, very close. Oh man, they know how to keep their distance. They know exactly how to keep their distance, and there's a dude down there. Uh, on that ladder. That's interesting, actually. Um, basically, it's it's a lot like Elden Ring, but if Dishonored got mashed into it, basically. Like, if it was Elden Ring, but Dishonored. Um, if that makes any sense. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but it's basically a mashup of both. Um. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, not gonna leave the whole uh, bandwagon that happened kind of ruined it. Wait, the bandwagon? I don't know what bandwagon you're talking about, but okay. Um, hold on. There you go. Um, uh, ow. Hold on. Just heal really quick. Ow, 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 ow. There you go. Ow. Parrying is such a difficult thing to pull off. Because, like, I've completely substituted my dodging for parrying. Um, entirely. Like, I haven't- I, I, I just straight up don't dodge often anymore. After I, uh, learned about the whole, uh... Ow. Uh, heal really quick here. After I learned how to parry. Um, I haven't really been dodging much. Which I know sounds crazy. But, was that a quad? That was a quad. Why are you coming at, in at me with a quad attack? It is so weird. Dude. Ah, damn it. Okay, never mind. We lost everything. All right, cool. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, going for the 2K Ducats is, uh, or the Ducats is going to be a lot better than anything else. But also, absolutely, my god. Um, is, and people don't, uh, don't have anything to do with Dark Souls games, just joined. Hi. Right. Interesting. Yeah, no, if you haven't, I can, ah, no. Dude, okay, fine. If you haven't I can try the game yourself, please don't say too much about it. Basically, yeah. No, I get you on that one. But also, bandwagons aren't also a bad thing either. As long as they're positive. Uh, positive bandwagons are always good to see. Um, but negative ones? Cough, cough, quitter. Ah, uh, not so much. <laughs> hey, dude. Heckin. Where is the heckin shenanigans here? I will always call out Twitter every single goddamn time I can. Okay, there you go. Where is the rest of it? There you go. But you know what I mean. Positive bandwagons, like, as in, like, just promoting positive things and, like, um, being, like, generally just positive about things is always a good thing to say. Um, because there needs to be more positivity. Always a good po positivity is always good. Alright, let's try this again. Round two! Uh, this is more like round 13, but whatever. Um, 
I love how like when you do this, you don't even move your legs. You just like tab over. Um, there you go. And there you go. There you go. Okay, cool. And that's two. Oh god, that was a mistake. I should not have done that. Okay, cool. There you go. Ah, damn it. Um, neutral focus. Uh, that's good though. If you're excited about something, you should be happy that it's everywhere because it's always good to see it. Um, when it comes down to things, it really shouldn't. Okay, cool. Okay, we're, we're almost there. Okay. Ah, oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, this is gonna be risky. This is gonna be hella risky. Okay, cool. Damn it. I had knocked them. Oh, it's so close. It was so goddamn close. God damn it. That is incredibly close. Ah, oh, this is fine though. Man. Um, how does weapon progression work? Worse than Dark Souls. Um, there's basically, there's, um, there's pretty much no, um, you don't do much damage. Your damage is basically zilch. You have to rely based off of parries. Basically think Sekiro. Most of your damage is going to come from parries rather than your actual uh, attack itself. Um, your attacks are just helping you get to your parries. That's all it is. Unless you're using a heavy weapon, like this one right here. Um. Um, but heavy weapons are just annoying in general. Um, here, I'll show you, I'll show you why. Here, give me like two seconds here. Um, though a heavy weapon might actually work here, honestly. Ow. Dude, shut. Stop it. Stop both you shenanigans. Ow. I wish I had a way for me to in shove them too. Uh, not really. Uh, so there's parries, so you can do... No, uh, so the way that parries work is that you have to build up a meter that, mind you, is also invisible to the player. So the meter itself that you're parrying for is entirely invisible to you. Like, you can't see it at all as a player. Um, like, entirely. Um, the other part about it, though, is that since it's invisible to the player, um, oh, I can actually, oh, I have more, I have more range than you. Ooh. Okay, cool. Ah, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah, uh, Okay, cool. Um, come on. Just There you go. Come on. Just sit still. Just sit still. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can see somebody head patting me in the corner of my eye right now. I'm not paying attention to who is here though. Okay. Um, this is a problem. This is a very big issue. Um, Come on. Okay, cool. Come on. Ow. Okay. Come on. Just sit still. How did I beat this dude in the first? Okay. How, okay, I have a genuine question. How did I kill this guy in the first like first like five minutes of the game? I don't know what I was doing, but like, how did I kill him in the first like two attempts of fighting the dude? What was I doing? What kind of absolute shenanigans was I pulling off to be able to kill the dude in that, that like short of a time? I'm actually liking the game a lot, honestly, because uh, you hit it in the windows instead of trying to block it. Um, is it? Uh, no, no, this is a heavy weapon, Lone Wolf. I'm using a heavy weapon right now. Oh, they also probably just nerfed it, yeah. Just still though, the fact that they would have nerfed it to that degree is just crazy. You yeah, know, I'm currently using a... This is the heavy weapon right now. This is your heavy weapon uh, that you'll be able to use in the game. Um, so there, this is the light weapon right here, which is like a cutlass. And then you've got your heavy weapon, which is just like a giant longsword that also happens to be a giant saw for some reason. Um, I still don't quite understand the saw um, shenanigans here, but whatever. Uh, let's get down here really quick. And then let's get up here really quick here. Um, let's go here, let's go grab you, do you really quick. Also this boss is gonna, um, okay, cool. Because you hit him in the windows instead of trying to block it. Okay, gotcha. 
So basically you're saying that the parrying is making me worse at the game. Got you. Um, ow. Honestly, it might honestly be. Can you uh, do parries with uh, Cutlass? Yes, you can do parries with any weapon in the game. It's just, it's literally just, um, it literally just comes down to being, uh, uh, just having timing. That's all it is. Every weapon can do parries. Um, there isn't a single weapon that can't do parries. It's just, it's very, 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 I was using that actually, I was using the Cutlass earlier actually. Um, for the first like 10 attempts at this boss here. Uh, the only problem is, is that as you can see, I'm having some difficulty just staying alive as it stands right now. So, uh. Yeah, we're having some interesting situations here, happen. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Um, is there a counter in the game? Technically, but you have to, it's Sekiro. Uh, I think Sekiro. Um, that, that's how the counters work in this game. You have to charge up a meter, and only then will the meter, um, only once the meter goes up, you can do the... Oh, I freaking... Okay. Um, so the counters work in the sense of there's an invisible uh, meter and you have to get it up there. Yeah. Some type of counter. Um, so in Sekiro, what you have to do is you have to fill up a bar um, by consistently attacking an enemy. And then once you get to, to a certain point, you stun them and then you can counter them. But that's only if you get it to that point. Uh, the problem is, is that most bosses in this game require you to get perfect counters continuously. Like four or five, six times in a row while getting hits in between. Like it is not easy. Um, it is not easy at all. What are you doing? Oh, God damn it. What are you doing? Okay. Well, at least I'm not dead. That That's okay. Um, okay. Hold on. I need to, okay. Radiant Ergo Fragment. I can forget about. Okay. We need to get up here. So I'm just going to run up here. Okay. We're going to go down here. Okay, cool. At least we should be safe. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Also, I need to really focus on staying alive here. I'm sorry, RT. Um, I have to focus because if I don't focus, I'm going to die again and I cannot continuously die because I'm going to be stuck here for the rest of the stream and I can actually guarantee that I'll be stuck here for the next stream, actually. Or for the rest of the stream. So, uh, yeah. It's not going to go well. Um, if I had a ranged weapon of some sort, I'd use it on this dude, but I don't have any ranged weapons because they don't exist in this game, apparently. Um, or they do, but they're more of a thing like that. Like that right there. Um. Come on. Oh. Okay, well, case in point for what I mean by you're gonna die pretty quick. Um, uh, God damn it. It's because I fell off the heckin' roof. Okay, let's try to do this again without falling off the roof. Um, okay, is there any kind of like items I can get over here that'll help me out, or is it just kind of like a. For your information. Um, there's nothing here. Um, no, none of this will, none of this will help. Okay, cool. Uh, what are you? Press the button. Okay, you're all electrified, so I just will not do you. Cool. All right, sounds good. Um, I need to go and search for everything else here. Come on. Okay, so there's a bunch of dogs down there. That's fine. We can completely ignore those for now. Um, oh my god. The first boss of the game took us 45 minutes to kill. That was the tutorial boss. 45 minutes of attempting. Um, the second mini boss that we ran into took us about half an hour. Um, this boss, we've been out for another 45 to an hour-ish, I'd say. Around there. I'd say that about there. Um, so, uh, I will definitely say we're, we're struggling a bit. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. It's not the end of the universe. Um, also, my special, ability do, my special abilities do absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. Like, hold on. For example, this right here. That right there. See? Oh, wait, what? Oh, you can use that to... Oh, you can use that to increase your parry count. Ooh. Okay, 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 that's actually used to increase your parry count. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay, so you're just gonna heck and do your thing. Um, grab you here. Um, there you go. Ow! Heckin'. I wish there was a way to cancel your attacks because, like, canceling your attacks would help so much for getting out of those situations here. Because otherwise, you're just stuck. Ow! Um, says so bloody does nothing proceeds to be useful. Nah, it's only useful if you can actually use the ability, the gap that it gives you. The problem is, is that since I am case in point, um, 
It seems to be only useful for mini bosses though, because when I was using it on an actual boss though, um, it didn't do anything. So bosses, it doesn't do anything for, but when it's doing it for like uh, smaller enemies like this, it should be fine. Um, so it'll be more of like a thing that'll help us defeat smaller enemies rather than larger, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, no, no, I, I'm learning the pattern. I'm just too slow. Um, my fingers don't want to follow what I'm trying to give them orders to do right now. Um, which is fine. It's okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so we're just gonna have to work on, um, figuring out how to do this. Just slowly but surely. Uh, Lone Wolf, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why Lone Wolf? Um, wait till you get to a checkpoint. Uh, this, this is the checkpoint currently. Uh, this, this boss is a checkpoint. After this, I have to go fight a giant rooster boss or wolf boss, I think. It's a weird boss. It's a very, very weird boss. Um, ow. Okay, see, the patterns, there are none. Oh, uh, there are no patterns. See, the thing is, uh, War, is that they can switch up their attacks however they want to. So you kind of just have to predict and think of what you... Here, watch. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. As you go through, there's no patterns. No real actual patterns. Um, there seems to be some little bits of consistency, but it seems to be more of a thing where they're learning to counter me. See, like, right there. Right there, right there, right there. Um, that is... Ah, okay, there you go. Okay, cool. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Um, they seem to be learning to counter what I'm doing. Um, which is interesting. Usually bosses in Souls-like games, um, like this, for example, um, usually bosses in Souls-like games and stuff have like a specific pattern to how they do things. They don't, they can't change what they're doing and like their attacks or what their attacks are going to be mid-fight. Like mid-attack kind of thing. This boss seems to be able to do that, which is interesting. Because if that's actually the case, then I have no hope in hell of beating this boss. Um, and it's not even a boss for the first part. It's it, like in the main part, it's not even a boss. It's just a straight up um, mini. It's not even considered a mini boss at that point. Um, yeah, no, no, no. That's what I mean. Like it's straight up just he's learning to counter. They, they, they know how to counter you, which is interesting because I've only seen that in games like um, For Honor and stuff. Like that's like something that you'd see in For Honor, but like not for games like this. Like that's not something that you'd see in these kind of games. Usually, at least. Um, it's interesting. No, 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 no. Um, that's not, that's not the case, actually, at war. Um, the windows aren't, like, the windows aren't the problem. Um, what I'm saying is that they're changing their attack during their primary. So, when they go for their primary light attack, they choose to base what their next attack is going to be based on what I'm doing currently. Um, they're adapting to what I'm doing. It's cool as all hell. Like, don't get me wrong. It's absolutely fascinating to see. But also, my god, do I hate that it exists on a mini boss. It's not even an actual boss. It's just a mini boss. Also, I'm going to do those push-ups. Um, no, it's not war. Not even close. Oh, it's sit-ups. Oh, not even that bad either. Oh, god, wait. Never mind. My stomach hurt, hurt like a mother chocolate holder. Um, no, it's not actually war. Um, at least not in Elden Ring, it's not. No, not even in not even in Dark Souls 3. I haven't even run I haven't even run that uh, run into that in Dark Souls 3. It's a little weird to explain. You'd have to fight him to know what I mean more. Um, but I'm just gonna go do this setup really quick. Okay, here's an example. Say I was gonna go, say, 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 war, we were in like a fight for like, like we were doing a duel or something, okay? And I go for a right hook and I'm gonna go for like your temple or something, okay? You would know to block that normally, right? But then you would have a follow up where you would try and go and do an undercut. 
to try and get me in the chin or somewhere else to counter that because I would already be open. That boss is effectively doing that and learning what to do. It is so weird. Yeah. No, no, it's it's not it's not it's 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 not that it's bad or anything. It's just very strange to run into because most of these games don't do that. They don't have AI that can just adapt to what you're doing. Ah, uh, Counselors, you can't see anything. <laughs> oh, hey Shadow. Um, fair point, but also I'm not gonna be shouting because um, if I start yelling, uh, war, it's like what? Hold on, what time is it? Um. It's currently like 10 p.m. and my upstairs neighbors can hear everything that I say. If I start yelling, uh, war, I don't think my upstairs neighbors would be happy. And considering that that my upstairs neighbors are my landlords, even less so. <laughs> There's a reason why I don't yell. Um, so that'll have to wait till I start till I get like full body tracking and stuff. I'm sorry to say. Um, like entirely, that'll have to wait till I get full body tracking. Okay, I'm gonna show you something really quick. This is what I mean. So say I go here, they're gonna dodge back, right? Because they know I'm gonna go for an attack, right? Then I go for a bottom, and then they go for a top, right? They go for a second, and then they go for a triple below. Because they know that I'm never expecting that one. It's weird. It's like they know what I'm thinking, or like what, what I'm gonna go and do. It's very strange. And then they keep on doing that because they know that I'm gonna continue blocking instead of dodging. That's more what I mean. There's zero consistency in anything that they're doing, whatsoever. Elden Ring, Dark Souls, and like Bloodborne and stuff have consistency. This boss doesn't, or more accurately, this mini boss doesn't. Um, and since this boss doesn't have consistency, it makes it so that I have to be very careful. Like, since they don't have consistency, I have to be very careful with what I do. Specifically because I don't want to end up in a situation where like, um... Oh my god. Case in point. For what I'm talking about right there. Um, well, that's them trying to get closer to me, which actually never really happened before. They never really tried that, actually. That's the first time I've seen that twice, actually. Um, da -da -da. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Okay, hold on. Um, ah, come on, let's grab you. There you go. Okay, okay. Um, there you go. No, okay, never mind. You know, I wouldn't say it's consistent at all, even close. Um, it's just cool to see. Like, it's not consistent, not even close to it. That or they just have enough movesets where it doesn't seem consistent at all. That could also be what it is, but I highly doubt they would have done that because that would have been way too much work instead of just making an AI that just predicts like randomly or like starts to learn based off of what you're doing because you know that would actually take less time than actually making all those movesets um it's so weird though um uh, I think so maybe possibly um the mini boss seems to be only have six to Five to six attacks out. No, no, no. It's the rotations of how they do them. So it's not necessarily the attacks that I'm talking about. It's the rotations of how they do them, though, Kelshi. Um, so they they seem to have like a they seem to have like a way of knowing what you're gonna do next and then trying to counter what you're planning on doing. It's weird. It is very weird to explain. Also, I'm just gonna run past him from now on. I'm just gonna completely ignore everything here. Every single enemy here shall be completely ignored. Um, just so it, it makes it a bit easier here. Um, and there should be a boss over there, which I should be able to ignore as well, I think. Maybe? Maybe. I'm not too sure. Oh, I have to, I have to fight them. Um, unless I can just run past here. Maybe? You need Cross City Hockey. I have to actually kill them to get the key. I actually have to kill them to get the key. Okay. Um. Ow. Okay. Ow. Okay. Um. Come on. Okay, just heal really quick. Leave me alone. There you go. 
Looks like a blue thing that's Lord. What? Uh, behind the carriage. Left. Don't worry, I'm ignoring it. Ignoring it all. Ignoring everything that's around me right now. Um, this boss comes first. Okay, come on. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, ow. Okay. For being a heavy weapon user, you seem to have a lot of speed, my dude. I wonder if there's a- I wonder if there's- ow. Okay, I wonder if there's a way for us to increase the speed of, like, our attacks. So we can attack it even- like, attack even further. Or faster, sorry. That'd be kind of cool. Because, like, you see what I mean, right? With the whole, like... Or are they kind of like, um... You know, like, how you can- You know how you can be invaded by other players or, like, kind of, like, AI NPCs? They kind of play, like, one of them in, like, Elden Ring. They- they- they kind of, like, move like one of them. Which is what I hate because they're so difficult to kill! Oh my god, those PvP, uh... Those PvP AIs that they have that just, like, come in and, uh... Invade you in, uh... Elden Ring are some of the most terrifying and difficult things to kill in the game. Easily. Unless you're, like, over levels and can, like, two-tap them. They're very hard to kill. Um... Okay, come on. Okay, should be fine. Wonder. Okay, uh... Come on, there you go. Uh, is there something that I can do down there? No, there's nothing down there that I can grab. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of you guys. I'm gonna completely ignore you. Um, keep moving. Man, this would be so much easier on heckin' controller, though! Heckin' being on, uh, keyboard and mouse also is the most nightmarish thing in existence. Um, hold on. Where is... Okay, come on, let's go. So, um, can I completely... I'm just gonna have to give up on the rest of my runes. Or ergo, as they call them in the game. Ow. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's what I mean. There, 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 that's, that's exactly what I mean right there. Um, okay, there you go. There you go. And then, okay, that tri- Usually they hide, usually they wait a second and then like step back up. They don't continue attacking. Yeah, that, that right there, okay. So I guess they flinch their elbow a bit and that's how you know. That is really subtle. That is hellishly subtle. So the, the way that you tell between whether or not they're going to pull back and stop attacking you to when they're actually going to attack you, when they're down and below like that, is that you have to watch their elbow. If their elbow jitters a little bit, they're going to attack. If they sit back and let it just rest, they're going to uh, body check you. And I don't know what the last one is, honestly. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. That's the end of that one there. Um, that is subtle. Maybe it's in my footwork then. Maybe there's like an easier way of telling in their feet. Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure it is. I, I, I'm almost 100% sure it is because bosses don't act like that normally. Hey, Bacon, I welcome, welcome. Um, that or I'm just really bad at the game uh, or just souls like in general, which honestly could check out. But I'm pretty sure it's adaptive because it keeps on changing the way that it uses its moves. Um. Oh. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's uh about expected. Um. When it comes down, it's just uh, conjoining uh, those two differently. It's just weird because like it seems to be adaptive in the way that it's attacking, because it tends to have multiple different move sets that lets it change how it's moving based on how you move yourself. Which seems like seems like it is actually adaptive, which would be overkill, like completely overkill to give anybody, like uh, a boss like that, just in the beginning of like a, um, like as like a mini boss or something, complete overkill for them. But then again, it is a Souls-like game, so I mean, you know, difficulty is to be expected with this kind of thing. Um. Oh, I'm gonna heck in, survive, I guess. Okay, right, cool. Oh, no, out of here. Thank you. Um, what are you? You're radiant er ergo fragments. Okay, cool. I should probably heal really quick. I don't actually know what's down here. All I know is that there is stuff of importance, so I'm gonna go grab it really quick. Um, because having items and stuff is kind of nice. Also, why are you here? Why are there more than one enemy here? Okay, there you go. Um, were you hiding? Emergency protection. Okay, cool. That's just the Gemini stuff. I got you here. Hidden Moonstone. Oh, I can level up my weapons again. Cool. Um, we got you out of the way that we can just ignore over there. 
Is there anything else here that I can grab, or is it just kind of like a... What are you? Okay, so I'm gonna get shocked here. I can't open that door. Oh, because that's the door to get past him. I think it's to the other side first before I can open that, though. This monster is just doing what Elden does. I don't think so, because Elden Ring doesn't do that. Like, it doesn't... See, the reason why I say that is because I've played an extensive amount of it. It's just... Or, I've played an extensive amount of Elden Ring, specifically. Um, and Elden Ring has never had a boss that has done specifically that. Because, like, that specific way of doing things is a very, very different way of doing things. Um, the reason why I'm saying that it might be a thing is because we have this ability that lets us counter every single move in the game. Um, which means that, theoretically speaking, they could make the game as hard as they want without any... Um, like, without any uh, worry, because we have something that lets us counter every single move in the game as well. No matter how fast it's coming at us. Um, so that's why I'm theorizing that that might be the case. Some of which can combo to each other. It's selected at the moment. I would have to combo together when flying in the slots. I don't think that's possible. I don't think they, they would do it that way, though. That's like a very old way of doing things, though. It'd make more sense to just have an AI that adapts to what you're doing. And decides what it's going to do based on what you're currently doing. Um, human enemies, from what I see, it look more like to Sekiro. I know it's, my way around a weapon. It's perfectly. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Sekiro and this game are very, very similar um, in that regard. But at least in Sekiro, I can at least gauge what my enemy is going to be doing. Uh, in this game, I cannot do that. Um, like at all. Oh, I don't have anything. I don't have enough for it. Okay, cool. Never mind. I guess we can just like leave it be then. Um, like in Sekiro, you can actually gauge what they're doing and you can learn what their attacks are going to be. This specific boss, you can't do that with. Which is why I'm saying that they might be adaptive. Um, yeah, they don't... Which I think is what's throwing you off. Maybe? That might be it? No, no. No, that would make sense. But also, they just might just be adaptive as well. Um, which is also throwing me off because most games don't do that. Um, like at all. Um, here, hold on. Let's go. I can just continue this. Um, I'm going to completely ignore everything. Just every single enemy. That mini boss can just rot there, I guess. Um, I'm just going to ignore him and just run past completely. Uh, just so I can actually enable and just go fight that final boss to see if I can get to inside the city hall. Because like you don't actually have to fight him, you just need to get past him. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna let this boss rot for now, and we'll go get the other. Uh, we'll go fight the other bosses for now, or we'll go try to fight the other boss for now. Um, there we go. That way we don't need to deal with uh, the hellscape that that mini boss is. Uh, come on, don't cause any problems for me. Just don't do what I think you're gonna do. Okay, cool. We're good on this one. You've got you over here. Is there anything else here? No, there's nothing else here. Okay, cool. We got you here, and then it should be fine. Um, okay, I'm just double checking, making sure that there isn't anything that we're missing. You said that there's an item to the left side of the crate, right? Um, or the left side side over here, right? Yes. Okay, cool. That way we can just completely ignore uh, the rest here. Ow, dude, why? Uh, is there any other enemies coming towards us? No. Okay, cool. Why do you, why do the humans seem to not want us to be around? Ow. Heck, why do the humans hate us so much? Did we do something to make them hate us? Because we're not exactly a puppet, we're also human. We just happen to have a robotic arm. That's, that's like the only difference between us. That's like the only difference at all. Ow. Um. Ow. It's so hard to get the timing right. Oh my god. Um. So we are a puppet. Wait. We look so human. That's the problem. Like, what's the difference between puppets and humans then? If we look so human, then why is there a difference between puppets and humans then, in that sense? Um. Why are they so against puppets? If we're basically human but have a machine part then why hate puppets we're basically just an amputee that's effectively all we are i don't understand the hatred Not all the puppets that you're finding are murdering people true but we're just a human with an ampu amputated arm that happens to just 
have an arm that's a robot. So, I mean, you know. Ow. Um, there you go. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because if you look at our character, there, there's no way that's a puppet. They're, they're human. Um, it's probably uh, an, an, an SMA or heretical. Um, or heret her heretical. What do you mean by that? Ane anathema. The hell? What does that word mean? That that word. I don't know what that means. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna go look it up. Actually, what does that mean? Resulting something someone that uh, kind of dislikes. Oh, hysteria or hysteria kind of thing. It might just be hysteria. Yeah. No, that's fine. I don't know the story here. I would follow for Pinocchio. Yeah, considering the ow, considering the fact that we're going uh, based off of Pinocchio's story, yeah, that checks out. Just because, yeah, that that makes a lot of sense. Okay, come on. There you go. Saw two, three. Oh god, damn it! I'm stuck inside of a bunch of enemies. Oh yeah, I'm, I uh, yeah, I somehow got out of there just to die. Okay, cool. At least we can skip the boss now without having to worry too much anymore. Um, we can completely skip the boss now, which is nice, so that we don't need to fight the boss as much, like, run past the boss anymore. Which is absolutely fantastic. Meaning that we don't need to deal with, uh, having to deal with them. Uh, come on, inside the house. And at least the boulevard. Is there a way that I can get down there? Is there a way to get inside the city without having to deal with being, like, around... I can wait. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a way that we can skip the boss. Wait, there might be a way for us to skip the boss. Hold on. I saw that there's a house that we could enter into that had a bunch of enemies in it. I'm kind of curious if we can just turn that house into a way to completely avoid having to go near the boss, like right here. This is what I'm talking about here. Hey, lift lever. Wait, what's this do? What's this do? Did I just... Did I just fix it? Did I just fix the elevator? Um... Left lever? I did fit. I did fix it! Oh, that's like the exit right there. Or that's the, that's the place that we respawn every single time. Alright, cool. That was making this incredibly fast. Okay, cool. And it seems like this household seems to be like a... Oh, you can do- Ow. Why do you do this? Okay, thank you. Obtain. What do you got? Attribute resistance, uh, ampule. Okay, cool. I can collect as many of those as I wanted. That'll be nice. Uh, urgent repair toolkit. That's fine. That's okay. Um, we got all of you here, and then we can just continue here. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. I don't know if- Uh... Oh, it's tea time! Hey, I just noticed it's off raining, and now that it's officially, it's like officially daytime now. That's cool. Um, so now all we gotta do is beat this boss, which is gonna be a bit of a problem because I don't know how to beat this boss. Um, which is a huge issue. Um, what if we just do also... Ow. Okay, my, my heckin... My cutlass does more damage. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, we're gonna back away, heal really quick, back away again, heal really quick. Ow. Ow. Okay, uh, back away. My god. I might have to practice on other Souls games first before I can actually continue this one, actually. To be honest with you, the difficulty is way too high for me. Okay, come on. There you go. There you go. Hold on. Let's get you out. I thought I blocked it. I thought I blocked that. I guess I didn't? That is so weird. I thought I blocked that. You know what would be really cool for a mechanic? Um... Oh, never mind. That wouldn't work either because that would make things a little too easy. God damn it. That wouldn't work as a mechanic at all. Um... There you go. Hold on. Okay, we're slowly making sure. It'd be funny if I beat this boss before I beat the mini boss. I swear to God. If I beat this boss before I beat the mini boss. Because you're supposed to be the mini boss first, not not this boss, but I guess today is gonna turn into the day where we beat the um 
DPS checkpoint boss, I guess you could say, because they seem like a DPS boss. It'd make a lot more sense if that were the case. Come on. Actually, hold on. If we go back, I actually have enough to be able to level up my character. Um, there are basic bosses? Like, basics bosses? What do you mean by basics bosses? What do you mean by basics bosses? I'm actually not too sure what you mean by that. Basics bosses. Do you mean by, like, tutorial bosses? Because we've already bypassed, we've already, uh, we've gotten past all the, uh, all the tutorial bosses so far. Um, like, we've, we've already finished all the tutorial bosses. Yeah, we've, we've already finished all the tutorial bosses. Those don't exist anymore for us. Um, the boss that asks you to understand the gameplay, we didn't beat them. Yeah, no, 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 we've already, we've already finished all those already. These, those don't exist for us anymore. Then again, I'm having trouble just hecking getting past these dudes, so yeah. It wouldn't exactly stand a reason for us to be able to get past bosses right now. Oh, thank god. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go heck and take apart you really quick. Just so I can use you for points. I think I need 400. I, I think that's how much I need right now. I, I think I need 400, and I think that's where about what I need? I think. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, there you go. Um, okay, come on. Where is stuff here? Okay, come on, off the roof you go. And then we should be good. And then we can go back here. Is there anybody else? No, we can leave you back here. And then let's go. Let's go back into the room, respawn them, and then come back and just repeat that once more. And then we should have enough points to be able to go level up my cutlass again. Um, oh, this is enforcing it. Ah, I do not like it when they enforce that kind of stuff. Ah, pain. Ah, uh, there you go. Ow. I should really learn what enemy to go for first because that would make things a lot easier, yeah? Just a little bit easier. Also, that wall just got a crack in it from me hitting it with a heckin' sword. There might actually be a secret there. Uh, wait, never mind. That's not a crack. That's just a design. Never mind. Um, hold on. We gotta keep on searching. Is you over here? Come on. There you go. Ow. Uh, maybe also on Donkey Head. He's got less windows though. Um, no, no. He's got a lot less windows. If anything, he's got none, almost, I'd say. He's got very few windows, if any at all. Um, like, he's one of the few bosses in this game so far that we've seen um, that have almost none, yeah. Uh, usually the bosses have windows, but I guess these don't. Hold on. Uh, okay, let's go grab you. Let's go grab this really quick here. Let's teleport to... The hotel cart really quick just so i can get to the hotel because that'll be a lot better i'm just basically going around upgrading my weapons right now or upgrading my cutlass so that my cutlass can do more damage um because having a cutlass that can do more is gonna be so nice it's gonna be absolutely amazing um i can okay so we gotta go grab you upgrade weapons we got you here um, okay, so we got you here. Upgrade, yes. Free team? Nice. Weapon durability, that's plus eight. Oh, interesting. My cutlass actually does do more damage. Okay. Did I buy it? No, I did not buy it. Uh, I got it through the Xbox Game Pass. Um, which is actually kind of nice that it's on. Yeah, I don't know. It's on, uh, it's on Xbox Game Pass. Um, so you don't have to worry about, uh, buying it. Which is nice. It's only if you have the Xbox Game Pass, that is. Um, my god, it's so difficult. Jesus Christ. Like, I knew that the game was going to be hard, but, like, for it to talk Dark Souls 3, that is... That that takes some actual effort to do that. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. We gotta grab you. Go down here. Okay, cool. And we're headed down. Thank god. I would never actually step in this. Like if I was in this situation, I would I would actively avoid the elevator and just walk through where all the enemies are. Uh, specifically just to avoid the elevator. I do not like elevators. Like for any reason, I will avoid them at all costs. Um, hold on, where is... Okay, so that's an entire city. So that's a city. There's gotta be a way for us to get in there. 
God damn. The fact that there's out. Not even a warning on that one. Okay, cool. Not even a warning. Come on. Ow. Um. Okay. One thing that I've noticed a lot about this game, though, is that a lot of your different moves and movesets that you do freeze you. Um. So anything that you try to do, like, for example, dodging, stun locks you. Ah, uh, for a second. You say you want to go for an attack, also stun locks you as well. Um, so I've started to notice that a lot of the things in this game that you'd normally use um, to help you with stuff uh, also ends up stun locking you. So you end up in a bit of a precarious situation of... Uh... Okay, cool. Let's grab you here. Let's go down here. Avoid you really quick. And go around here. Oh, I can't... So this isn't one of those bosses where you can actually go around them. They just lock onto you. Wait, do they have a lock on like you do? Like, I think they can lock onto you like the player does. I actually think they can. And if that's the case, you can't dodge behind them. There is no dodging behind them if they're, if they're locked onto you. Um, the reason why I say that is because that last fight there, when I went in to attack them and I tried to dodge behind them, they just followed me. Um, they like turn their body to follow me mid attack. So I'm starting to think that they might actually have a way to lock onto you while attacking. Which means that dodging is technically irrelevant in this game uh, for certain bosses. Like just dodging in general is just not relevant unless you're able to get the perfect iframes to avoid getting hit, which I am not capable of doing currently. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna switch some stuff up really quick. Uh, controller, keyboard, keyboard settings, we're going to change that to shift and space, just so we've got both being space really quick here. Um, it's going to be interesting though if they can actually lock onto me, because if they can lock onto me then I am absolutely toast in every possible way, um, because it means that I won't be able to dodge out of them. Okay, let's just, let's just hope this works. Okay, cool. Okay, maybe. Okay, so it seems like there's a way for you to get... Um, so it seems like there's a way for you to get behind them and actually do a back attack. Like a back assassination on them. Which is interesting to do for a boss. Because it means that you can actually get back assassinations on them. Which means that if I can get a back assassination on them, it means that we're going to be able to do some stuff here to have an easier time, I guess? Um, true. But this tells you when you can do it. Like, the game actually tells you directly when you can do it. Like, in Souls-like games, like in uh, Dark Souls, they don't tell you. This game does. Um... Okay, we're gonna reach a second phase here soon. Ow! Um, I just need to get one more hit in. That's all I need to do. Ah! No! I was so close too! God damn it! I had almost gotten to the second- I got to the second phase. At least we're getting better at this. Okay. This boss is doable. This boss is 100% doable. That mini boss, though, I'm just, I'm gonna let it rot in hell. It will never be faced again. I'm never touching that boss again. This boss, though, is 100% doable. Um, hold on, there you go. I spent an hour on it. I really don't want to go back to it. Um, okay. Come on. I know we can do this. Okay, cool. Let's go. Um, maybe there is a way for us to actually do this, uh, in a bit of, like, a sneaky way-ish? I wish you could rebind your dodge in shift K. So the one thing I wish you could do uh, in this game is I really wish you could change your shift, like the one to make you run, your dash and your dodge. I wish those were two different key bindings that you could change. Um, because then not being two different key bindings is the most god awful thing in existence. I get that it's nice for controllers, but for PC, having your shift on your space bar, like your, uh, your sprint as your space bar is uh, 
interesting to say the least. Um, hold on. There you go. Um, all right. There you go. Dude, take a chill pill. It's okay. It's okay. Like, dude, it's okay. Okay. Uh, heal really quick. Well, I got a second here. Come on. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's like a. What's the main? What's the main attacking? Like what's what's the main um ability for them to? Arba. Okay. That seems to be one of the freaking high frames right there. Oh no. Okay. So that right there seems to be one of them. Um, like that that one specific spot. Like when he goes to hit his sword on the ground it seems like that is considered to be one of the iframes um i could be mistaken though um because like or not iframes sorry like opportunities to attack him but outside of that there doesn't seem to be any others um so i'm gonna have to do this by whittling away their health tiny bits at a time like genuinely absolutely tiny bits at a time i'm gonna start trying to move into a more um, set trajectory of having uh, parrying not be a thing. I'm overextending a lot? In which way do you mean? Um, because overextending generally just means you're only going to get one or two swipes at best, yeah. Um, that's what, 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 what I, that, sorry. That's more what I mean now, is I'm gonna start trying to go for more of a, a single hit and then run away kind of thing. Um, like, just let it do its thing. Like that right there. Ow. And that was a bad time. Man, I do not like how they fight like a player. They really do fight like a player. And it's such a pain. Oh, yeah, that's the end of that. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, eating blades is not that bad of a breakfast, you know? <laughs> At this point, we've eaten enough for an entire month's worth of blades. Jesus Christ. Actually, what's that one heckin' character in anime that can, like, eat anything? I think, I know Natsu just, like, Gajil, Gajil. We'll just turn into Gajil. We'll just eat his blade. <laughs> we'll just turn it into an actual snack. We'll, we'll just turn into Gajil real quick. Just munch his goddamn, uh, his blade as a snack and turn it into, a, into a car. I wish that was an ability that we could have. That would be an absolutely amazing. That'd be awesome. Or we could just eat his sword. Never have to worry about it ever again. I've been in one of these elevators, by the way. They're so weird to be in. Because there's no walls on the front and back of them. Like, they don't have any walls whatsoever. These, like, this right here is where a door would normally go. But there's, like, it, it's just, you can see, like, the walls passing by you. It is the most nerve-wracking thing to be in. Um. Okay, just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Um. Is there anything I can do to make this easier on myself? Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So what are you? Legion charge. Uh, polymer filled. Activate laser arm space ability. Temporary increase attribute. Resistance. Fine. Um. Equip. We could equip you. Hmm. It's the emergency protection, thermites. They can be thrown if like fire damage at the area of impact. Equip. Then we want to go equip you. And then we want to go grab. What else here? Sharp pipe? Nah. Shotgun meal? No. What are you? Teleport to a hotel or last. Oh, it's the. Okay, gotcha. Um, okay, so what we're gonna wanna do is just no, that's not what we wanna do. What's the key binding for it? There's gotta be okay, I can't remember what the key binding is for it. Item, use belts. Oh, it's R. No, that's that's not what we're that's not R at all. Um, upper weapons, switch legion, use item, bag slot, no lower belts, switch weapon, switch legion arm. 
Belts, use uh, attack, quick charge attack. Switch to walking. Uh, play records menu, no. Interact, no. Dodge dash, no. Wait, what was the... Use extra bags, item slot, one. Okay, so this is one, two, and three. Oh, it's literally just one, two, and three. Okay, gotcha. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use one really quick. Right? Yeah, okay. So we got increased resistance. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, get elevators like that. Makes it a mesh wall on both the elevator and the floor. Okay. No. Kelshi. That is the, my literal living nightmare if I had to go into one of those. Genuinely. Like, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. That is the most terrifying goddamn thing in existence, if that makes sense. Like, that is absolutely terrifying. Um... Uh, beats missing uh, because you didn't keep it in the right. True! But having that as your floor as well? Oh my god, I hate that. So much. Um, like, I'm fine with that being a thing. Like, mesh walls? Yeah, go for it. All the way. Okay, because I saw you wall in both elevator and the floor. Uh, not the floor of the elevator. Okay, because I saw... It. Because your message, in your message, you said you're the floor as well. Um, oh, the destination floors. Oh, I see, I see. Ow, dude! Stop it with your combos. There you go. Just perfect combo. Okay, okay. Nope, never mind. Okay. Uh, of the building. Okay, that makes a lot more sense because having the mesh of the elevator, like the floor of the elevator be mesh, that doesn't make any sense. Like, at all. Like, genuinely at all. Um, though that sounds like a, like an absolute fun time if you're like on like a, like if you're like launching somebody off like in like if you're giving like, you know how people like to jump off of like 50 foot tall like um, diving boards, right? That sounds like it'd be a fun one to do for like a diving board. Just like have them uh, be brought up entirely on like a giant like mesh platform, <laughs> like mesh elevator. All the way up. And that way if it does, like if they do fall, they're just gonna fall into water, they'll be fine. Like nothing will end up hurting them or anything. So they'll be fine. It'll be a-okay to go. Um, hold on, let's go grab you. I'm gonna go make sure that you're safe. No! Um, okay, so... Okay, cool. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay. It seems like they can hit me, but also not? It's weird. It is very strange. Like, look at how fast they recover from that. Like, they recover from their attacks near instantly. That's crazy. Um, comparatively to my heavy attack weapon that I have, I don't recover from my attacks nearly as fast. Um, I think I'm like half the speed or something. It's crazy. Oh, I see why they have a boss like this. They're trying to teach, they're trying to get you to learn how to create openings using your parries. That's what they're doing. They're getting you to create openings using your parries. Um. Um. Uh, that would be crazy if that's the case. Um. Because that could bring out some of the most terrifying bosses in, like, existence if that were the case. Um, or at least total animation speed is similar to dexterity and Elden Ring. True. That is fair. The only reason why I say that um, it's just terrifying is because, like, if that were the case, and, like, different, like, it's tied to dexterity, and that's what, like, increases your speed, that is just ridiculous, genuinely. Um, I actually don't know what would have caused that to happen, I think. I'm not too sure, though. I'll have to see what happens here. Which is fine. It's okay. It's not the end of the universe. Ah. Okay. Cool. Let's go again. <sighs> Only thing I wish you could do is I would really wish there was an option to just not have to uh, be stuck behind either, like, this boss. Because Jesus Christ. Um. Come on. At least it's not like that one boss that I was fighting the other day. Um. In Hakin, no, I think it's Descendant. Yeah, I think it's the last Descendant. 
Um, there's a boss where you can heal, they can heal through their phases. So you know how you can like defeat a boss's phase and then it's over, right? Yeah, it turns out in First Ascendant, they can heal through their phases and fully heal back up to max. Uh, while summoning adds the entire time. Um, so if you're not careful, um, you could end up in a situation where um, you're just ending up fighting the same boss like six, seven, eight stages in a row. It is... yeah. I've uh... I, that was like where I was like, okay, I'm gonna put the game down now. <laughs> that was like uh, my limit right there. Once I saw that, I was like, no, uh, you broke the cardinal rule, I'm sorry. Um, the bosses just in general. Ow! Come on, leave me alone! Come on, drop it. Back! Away! Come on! Um, there you go. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, no, no. This boss is definitely using, uh... Yeah, I know. This boss is definitely using parries for, uh, being able to op uh, create openings. That's the entire existence of this boss right there. Come on. Yeah, I know. See? Okay, that didn't do anything. God damn it. Okay, that's my death. Um, well, no, 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 like you can actually, if you parry, um, if you get a perfect parry, it stuns them sometimes, if you're lucky. It's like a percent chance for you to stun them with a perfect parry. So if you do a bunch of perfect parries in a row, you can stun them a little bit. And that stun is like less than half a second. It's like 0.2 of a second um, to give you another opening. Um, it is pain. It is pain. And not even... Okay, you want to know the crazy part about it too? Parrying, like swinging and parrying don't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get a hit. You're likely to get hit first, even if you parry them. Um, or at least this boss. I don't know if you've noticed, but they tend to be able to recover faster than I do. So I can't even... Um, I can't even like parry, hit them, parry, hit them kind of thing. That, that, I'm too slow. My character is too slow for that. Um, and I don't quite know why. I don't quite know why I'm too slow. Um, yeah, it, it really only works in those overheads, which is a problem, which is a very big issue. Um, ow, ow. Come on, no? Okay, cool, you're just not gonna follow here. Um, and you can vary whole time on overheads, yeah. That's why I like, there isn't a real set rhythm. Yeah, they're, they're, a lot of these bosses don't have rhythm to them, which is interesting. Um, no, 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 I'm not playing, uh, I'm not playing, uh, Bloodborne. No, this is a very different game. Uh, hold on. There you go. Get you out of here. Come on. Just get out of here. Okay, thank you. I actually don't know Pinocchio? I, I don't actually know how Bloodborne plays. I've never seen anything for Bloodborne, so I wouldn't know. I'm sorry. Um... Da -da -da. Um, I know it is like a Dark Souls thing, but like, um, oh, Bloodborne has a similar aesthetic. Okay, gotcha. You know, I know very little about. I can get combos going, and that seems to be like my, like I can stun them from hitting them twice. It seems like hitting them twice tends to stun them. Like that seems to be where it's at, in terms of stuff right now. Um, though I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but yeah. I still need to go figure this out. Um, but yeah, it's fine. It is a okay to go. Uh, Bloodborne is like 30 percent more aggressive. Considering the fact that these bosses are adaptive and have zero rhythm to them, uh, Bloodsack, I'd, I'd say otherwise. Or at least, I don't know. I, I, these bosses are adaptive and they have no rhythm. If Bloodborne's, if Bloodborne is even worse than this, I, I don't even, I can't even pick up the game. Um, no, I, I'm going with the full adaptive. I, I'm going with full adaptive. That that mini boss over there is adaptive. Um, Bloodborne is consistent. Bloodborne's consistent. Okay, that's good. That that is very good. Okay, thank God that they're consistent because Jesus, having bosses that, bosses that are inconsistent is the most absolutely terrifying thing in existence. In existence thing. Um, as consistent uh, as consistent as any other Souls game. Well, I mean Souls games in general, like Dark Souls three, Dark Souls two, Dark Souls one, and Elden Ring and stuff are uh they're, they're consistent enough where you can guess what they're gonna do this seems to be this seems to be one of those things where i can um this boss is consistent enough where you can kind of guess what they're gonna be doing um because like you know um it's this kind of oh i forgot to dodge inwards 
Um, this boss is like consistent enough where you can guess what they're doing. Um, but the other mini boss that we were fighting, um, just couldn't. Like you could not, or at least I couldn't tell what was, what they were planning on doing. Um, since they were switching up all of their patterns constantly, it was a consistent pattern switch up without any issues. So to be uh, uh, heal a lot of damage by attacking after being hit. Oh, that's what you mean by aggressive. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Okay, because if you're talking about aggressive as in like, there's a lot more enemies or the enemies are more complex or just they do a lot more damage, that's more what I was thinking that you're uh, meaning by aggressive. But if you mean by aggressive by that you heal by attacking, that makes a lot more sense. Which makes sense because like, you know. Oh, it has guns. Oh, if it has guns too, then yeah. Okay. Man, that would be great right now. That would be absolutely amazing be able, being able to use a, a gun right now. You know? Just like a quick roll gun just so I can go through and actually like use it on this dude from like far away. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, that actually works on him? Wait, that shouldn't have worked on him though. That really shouldn't have worked on him though. Okay, okay. So it turns out that our our uh, thing here tends to be a thing. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Okay, sorry. I, for, sorry for being very silent right now. I'm trying to figure stuff out right now. Um... Or at least I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on because this is going to go very poorly if I don't pay attention. Okay, uh, it turns out that apparently... Oh, that's right, because I changed my keybindings. I keep forgetting that I changed my keybindings. Come on, just get me out of here really quick so I can heal. That is such a cool healing animation, though. It's a lot faster than any other souls like that I've played, though. Which is concerning because it means that we're going to end up needing it a lot. Stop showing up already. Um, because like if you if you end up getting like, like quick healing animations, you end up having to use that a lot, generally speaking. Um, like you end up having to use those heal those heals consistently and a lot of the time it's very common for you to end up using all of them unless you're like highly skilled. Um, Red Glows is always three attacks. That was the fourth. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was the fourth one there. Also, I ended up attacking instead of parrying. That was, that was entirely on me at that point. Um, uh, also the grapple looks useful. It has open, uh, open after slamming. Ah, uh, the overhead. The overhead. The overhead. The yeah. Uh, it also seems like I can interrupt their attack with it as well. Um, which is going to be interesting. Because if I can interrupt attacks with it, that'll be nice. There's three, a side swipe, another swipe, and then an overhead. Hmm. Well, either way, I still messed up in the fact that I heckin attacked instead of, uh, instead of parrying. I, I decided to not, uh, do what I was supposed to do here. Um, you, my friend, can leave me alone. Okay. Cool. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Key bindings. Okay. There you go. Shift has been changed here. Also, I'm pretty sure it does alternate between 3 and 4. Uh, the only reason why I say that is because... Here, hold on. Uh, the only reason why I say that is because they have been alternating some of their attacks between certain patterns. A little bit. Um, never seen it do a 4. Interesting. I could just be seeing things. Then, in that case... Which does not help my case either, because if I'm just... At this point, if I'm just seeing different attacks that aren't actually happening, then I am so out of here. Yes! Oh my god! I actually pulled it off. Okay. So yeah, no, that, sorry. That, that's what I've been trying to pull off this entire time. Like that that right there. You, you saw that back attack? Um, I had been trying to pull that off. Ow. I'm going to see if I can do that twice, actually. Oh, okay. Two, three, and an overhead. Okay, so it is three. Okay, cool. It's nice being able to actually pay attention and see things though. Um, do the backstab on a boss is very lenient. Oh yeah, no, 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 but it's very hard to hit though. 
like in the first place. Hold on. Like I'm trying to hit it right now and I'm just not hitting it. Um. Oh, actually, like, yeah, no, 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 it is very tiny. Um, it's like trying to hit. So, it, have you ever tried to hit a. Uh, it's like. Ah, oh, okay, come on, there you go. Um, it's like trying to hit. find a needle in a haystack, basically, but in the middle of a boss fight, basically. Which is the most unfortunate way of having this setup, but it's fine. Oh my god, that's so close to it! That's so close, did you see it? Okay, I think you saw it, I think you saw it. Um. It looks bigger than the two, uh, than the hitbox for Dark Souls 2. Okay, but that's Dark Souls 2, let's be honest here, though. Um, considering this is, like, a game that came out nowadays, um, which is expecting to have, like, a lot of players, um, having it, having it have this small of a hitbox, though, is insane, because, like, a lot of the players, um, abilities are, are like, you're gonna have a lot of unskilled players trying to get into this, much like myself, um, and not being able to hit a lot of the, uh, hitboxes because of it. Ow! Oh, it's because I dodged into a wall, that's why. Ow. Heck in. Ow. Okay. We're slowly but surely getting there. Um. Okay, you need to stop doing your thing. Come on. Ow. Okay, that wasn't... Dude. I didn't even expect that. That just... Okay. Also, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought they were gonna try and dash at me again, not freaking throw, the, shove the sword in my face. Okay. Well, then again, also war. You gotta remember, you've got like a massive amount of experience in Souls like games um, over me. You've got like somewhere like over like a thousand hours just total throughout all the games that you played. Um, I'm currently sitting currently at like maybe a hundred at most, <laughs> and that's over like four years at this point. Four years, so it's almost nothing. And ultimately, ultimately speaking. Okay, where in the world is there you go? I've got very little experience, so it's okay. I'm just not that I just have little experience in the game. For these kind of games, which is fine. It's okay. Uh come on. Okay, we're down to a quarter of his health left. So we're working towards getting further. Um We're slowly getting there. I'm gonna see if I can go for the back again. I'm gonna see if I can start going for the back openings. Um, oh, no, 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 Oh, wait, that's right, because I changed it. Um, okay, come on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this really quick. Ow. How do you know? How does he know where I'm going? Like, look at that. Look at that. Right there. Right there. You see that, right? He's not even looking at me. And he just throws his sword at me. That's not something that I can do. The hell? It's almost like he's got like this area AOE around him where he just happens to be able to do things. That's just crazy. That's actually insane. Um, also, we just hit it for a second time. Okay, cool. Ow. That is crazy though. Yeah, like right there, right there, right there. Um, okay, I really wish. Oh man, having double key bindings would be so cool. Like having having uh, multiple set key bindings for stuff would be absolutely amazing. Okay, okay, we're getting better. We're getting better at anticipating and getting to his back. Okay, cool. Um. Ow. 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 No, no, no I'm trying to get behind you, my dude. Come on. Okay. Yeah, I, I over dodged there. I was trying to get behind him, but it seems like I can't get behind him for some reason. Like, he's, I don't know. It's whatever. We'll eventually figure it out eventually. Um, I gotta keep like an attempt counter, like an attempt to counter. Like, you know, you know, like a counter for the amount of attempts that I have on a boss. Um. Because at this point, we've been trying to pass this one section for almost two hours now, I think. No, an hour and a half? An hour 45? Around there? Yeah, something like that. Not the specific boss, but like just this area in general. Um, hold on. Let's continue trying. Okay. My god. I'm gonna give it till 4.30. If I can't- if I can't make it within four hours and- uh, within 30- four hours and 30 minutes, I- I'm gonna have to call it quits. Because my god. 
basically going to be, um, yeah, no, at this point we're, we're going to be, uh, we're, we're going to be hitting the two and a half hour mark for this area just alone within this boss and the mini boss that's over there. It's like hidden over there. So, uh, yeah. We're going to have to call it quits if I can't get past this by the next, within the next 24 minutes. Jesus Christ, dude, take it easy. Like, I, I know that you're a donkey, but my God, you have to be an ass. Uh, I don't even uh, know how long I've been here now watching. Um, you've been here since the beginning. Um, Junior, you, you've been here since the beginning, actually. Um, since, like, since first boss kind of thing. Okay. No. Leave me be. Okay, come on. Just get stuck. Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got something for them. I got something for them. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. That did not do enough. Anywhere near enough of what I wanted to go here. Jesus Christ! Ah! I don't want Jason Bourne coming in here, but oh my god, I'm seeing a light. Stop showing up already! Oh, his back is here. What do you mean stop showing up already? You need to die already, dude. Shush! Just fall over. Just, just heal over for me real quick. That would be absolutely glorious if you could. Like that would be like the best present ever. Just kill over. That would be absolutely amazing, my dude. Um. Hold on. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Are you just repeating voice lines now? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Um. Hold on. There you go. Okay. My dog is currently there. Why is his name My Dog? Even though he's a donkey. Why? Why is? Why is he? Why? Why is his name My Dog? If he's. Oh wait, hold up. I forgot. Jesus Christ. Um. I think I might just be getting tired at this point. Yeah, I, I read that as dog. I, 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 at this point, I'm pretty sure I'm just tired. <laughs> um, ow! Jesus Christ. At least we're consistently, consistently getting him down to, like, half health, you know? Like, we're slowly but surely getting there. Um, yeah, I really do need to sleep. I've been awake since 6 a.m. It is currently whatever, what time is it right now? I've been awake since 6 a.m. and it's currently 11 p.m. So, yes, I, I do need sleep <laughs> at some point here. <laughs> But, good point though, about that. Um, I've actually quit caffeine entirely, so I can actually do this with like, um, without little to no trouble then. Um, I suppose we are two that need sleep. I can guarantee you that there's other people in this, uh, in stream that also need sleep. Uh, Junior. There's at least two people that I can name that haven't slept yet, that need sleep. That I know that are here because I know what the Pokemon they are. <laughs> um, hold on. The second go, da, 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 da. and I will say this. I'm not gonna call you guys out, but you guys know who you are. <laughs> Hold on. Come on. Okay, so. Oh my god, you saw that, right? Okay, so I think I think I figured out a strategy. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna call them out on it because they have their reasons for probably not sleeping. So I probably focus on other things. Um. Yeah, you see it right there. Okay, so we're slowly but surely getting there. We're slowly but surely getting there. It seems like he staggers and then he shows up. Uh, it seems like he staggers and then has his like entire body glitch into your direction, which is a problem because it means that you're gonna ow. It's a problem because it means that you're gonna have to. Okay, we're just gonna run away from you now. Have fun with that. What? A double red? Dude! What are you doing? Triple red! Dude, that's a triple! No! You're not supposed to be doing triples. Triples aren't allowed, my dude. Ow! Ow! Okay, we're gonna have to step back real quick, heal, and then we gotta do this real quick. Okay, I gotta be faster on the, I gotta be faster on the parries. There you go. Okay, we're visibly improving at this point because we've managed to pull out. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, we're visibly improving at this point, so it means that we're gonna be able to increase our shenanigans here. Yeah, there you go. 
Okay, I managed to get into half health without using the back trick this time. So we are improving just bit by bit by bit. It's just taking absolutely fudging forever. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Um, all right, that's officially, that's officially two hours at that point, I think, at this area. I think that's officially two hours in this area. I think we've officially hit it, guys. We've hit the milestone. Let's see if we can make it to two and a half. <laughs> All right, let's keep on. Let's keep on going. Um, hey, dude, shush, back off. Thank you. Um, okay, there's nothing else here. I could probably use you, actually. Speaking of which, um, grab you just so we can have you here. Okay, I don't even need to retrieve that. This is just 10. We can le legitimately just like let that exist. In the background here. Okay. No, 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 dude. Here, back off. Come on. Wait, I think I, I think I, wait. Oh, he's talking about the dude in the cart. Okay, cool. He's talking about the dude in the cart. Okay, because I heard him say he's going to kill us both. Boy. I didn't know who the second person was that he was talking about for a second there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's my thing. Heal really quick. I need more, I need more stamina just so I can spam heckin' dodging constantly. That would be absolutely legendary. Yes, okay, got it. Nice. Okay, see? We're getting better. Um, okay, cool. We got you here. Okay. Ow. Seems like dodging doesn't seem to be the most consistent thing out there. Ow. I was so close. I was so- No! Fudging hell! Ah! Ah, that's annoying. Fudging hell. That's annoying! Oh man, I thought it was good. I thought it was fine there. Man, that's annoying. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine, it's okay. As we become a pixie again, once again. Uh, I'm gonna have to- No worries, have an awesome time, Junior. We'll talk to you later, okay? Make sure you get slaps. Talk to you later. <laughs> Make sure you don't get stuck on this end. Uh, make sure you don't get stuck on this boss too, because Jesus Christ. This boss is uh, definitely interesting, I'll say that much. Come on! Get out of the way! Boss, just die already! Alright, I'm gonna give it... Mm, yeah, it should be fine. It should do okay. Okay, okay. Dude, get over here. I just need you to... I, I just need you to get over here. Come on! Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so you dodge away when you see me going for your back. Okay, cool. So they do have a way of knowing when you're going to go for your back. They just happen to utilize that as information to dictate what they're going to do next. Yes, okay. Okay, I think I figured out a way to, I think I figured out a way to consistently do this. Okay, um, which if I can figure out how to replicate that. Okay, I think I figured it out. Yeah, I think, okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. You're gonna dodge into the wall now. Oh, you are, you are spending a lot of time avoiding me, or specifically avoiding my back, or avoiding having your back pointed towards me. Okay, so they they know what I'm aiming for now, which is funny because yeah, there you go. That's the second one. Nice. Okay. All right, that's two. That's two. All right, cool. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Are you a dream or a Stop up already. Come on, just refill all my stamina really quick. You know what would be really cool? Is if, um, like different characters and bosses had like memories through, uh, through different boss fights. So they would have different voice lines based on what you did last time. Which would be really cool and also absolutely hilarious for a mechanic, for a game to have. Just in general just because like imagine having like a boss fight where they're just like you're basically um having a battle of wits with your uh boss just over multiple different boss fights that'd be amazing okay need to calm down do not do not get greedy do not get greedy don't get greedy don't get greedy don't get greedy just follow it 
stick with the just stick with the plan. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Oh damn it, I got greedy. Damn it, I got greedy. I got greedy. God damn it. Okay. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Ah, oh, god damn it, I got greedy. Oh, I was gonna go for it. Okay, at least we got it three times that time. Okay. Okay, okay, we're improving. We're improving. I got it three times that one that time. If we can get it four times, then it's over. Then we have um then we have like a technique that lets us use their back to basically just do crazy amounts of damage to them. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, remember, don't get greedy and just wait for the opening because there will be one. Okay. Just take your time. Take your time. Also, don't mind me trying to tell myself to do stuff. Uh, it's easier for me to freaking remember <laughs> to do stuff if I say it out loud. So just, just don't mind me talking to myself here. Um, <laughs> it's like more. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It's like, welcome, welcome. Um, we've been at this boss technically for almost uh, an hour and a half now at this point. We've, we've been at this boss for almost an hour and a half at this point. This specific area for almost two hours now. Okay, so when you go for that big one, I, that's not actually an opening. Um, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Seems like this. Okay, so this boss actually knows when you're going for their back and tends to dodge away to try and avoid you uh, fighting, like getting their back. Um, see, time for me. No worries, have an awesome night, Scar. We'll talk to you later, okay? Hold on, there you go. Okay. Um. Ow. That would have been a perfect opening for it, too. Ah, oh, damn it. Um. I, I haven't played enough Sekiro for me to actually be able to do that. I'm sorry to say. Um. I have gotten to the troll in the beginning in front of the gate, and that's it. That's as far as I've gotten. Okay. I never got further, and I managed to beat one of the first- Ow! Just timing your parry in input to this. Oh, yeah, parries don't do anything in this game, watch. Hold on, where's the perfect parry? Just watch, 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 watch. For this boss specifically, parries don't do much. Um, no, 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 for this boss, they don't do anything, specifically. Ow, well, that's gonna be my death. Um, the reason why I say that is because this boss recovers faster than you can recover from your own parry. Or at least faster than I can recover from my own parry. Which means that my parry actually puts me at a disadvantage when I parry them. No, 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 no. It's Sekiro, you can use your parries to actually give you an advantage. This is just... You're committing self-delete by doing so, at least for my character. We've started theorizing that... We've started theorizing that certain uh, stats actually make your um, make the animations faster. Um, no, 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 no. Um, so the we've started theorizing that the um, the um, like the certain animations actually get faster with certain stats um, because this dude's using a great sword, right? Like a massive great sword, right? So I'm using a freaking I'm using it like a cutlass. Yeah, he's using a sword that massive, and he's faster than I am. So we're th we were theorizing earlier that he might actually be using a uh, uh, like certain. He might actually have certain stats that let him be faster than me. And if that's the case, um, I have to increase those stats uh, later on, just so that I can have faster recovery time from swings and stuff, um, so that I have less to worry about. Um. But in Sekiro, I, I know that Sekiro, in Sekiro, it's it's a huge thing for uh, being able to parry. Um, yeah, no, no, no. I, I was doing it quite a bit actually earlier. Like, quite a bit. Uh, it's actually how I beat the first tutorial boss in the game, was by perfect parrying uh, most of the time. Uh, the thing about it, though, is that it just did nothing for me. So I've kind of like opted out of parrying, uh, at least for this boss. Specifically for this boss and this boss alone. That's why. Uh, for the other bosses, yeah, it works. Uh, for this boss, though, no, it doesn't. Um, you have to change your tactics and just uh, get around it. Um, generally, what I found that works is going for his back and using the uh, you know the uh, you know the giant attack that you can do for uh, his back. Like when you get into the uh, back of an enemy, you can do like a lot of damage. 
in their back, like this right here. I've noticed that this tends to do the most damage for them. Um, so if you can get that just a couple times in a row, you're pretty much set. And you got nothing to worry about now. Uh, the only problem is, is that it seems like the, uh, the AI is adaptive in the sense of it can learn to avoid you. Or not avoid you, sorry, but it can learn to... Um, it can learn to adapt to how you play. Um, and I, I know that uh, Kelshi says otherwise, but I, I'm almost convinced at this point that they do. Um, because they they get better over time when you fight them, and they start to like to be able to get better, unless I'm just getting more tired and slower, uh, which is very possible since I've been awake for more than 17 hours. Um, ish, I think. Um, but yeah. See, exactly. <laughs> I'm almost convinced, but then again, I could just be getting slower, and that's that's could also be just the case as well. Um, I'm just being awake too much. Oh, that would have been perfect. God damn it, dude. What are you doing? Ow! Get away from me. Stop it. But I found that it works a bit better just to go for his back instead of uh, parrying at all. Just what? Ow! I would have had a perfect thing here. Sorry, I should start dodging more. Um. Like, see? There you go! See, this is what I mean by just the back parry. It does a lot more than anything else. Um. And if you can parry, it does reduce the damage that you take. Um. That, I can say, is definitely like a thing that's like absolutely massive. It's just that if you're going for damage, his back is the best way. Um, you can perfect and do a backstab? The hell? You can actually do that? Wait, hold on. Um, I, I need to figure out how to do that because that sounds like an absolutely amazing time to be able to do. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I beat it within the two hour mark. Let's go. Oh my god, that took way too long. Jesus Christ. Oh. Parry because it's an uh, exhaust bar. Wait, it parry into backstab. It's not every parry because it's an exhaust bar. Yeah, that's what I've noticed as well. Um, like you have to get like a combo of like four, five, six, or even seven times in a row sometimes to get like the exhaust exhaust bar to go. Like in Sekiro. It's why I tend to just opt out of parrying. At least for faster bosses, for slower ones, I'll do that all day long. Like, easy. For slower bosses, 100%. I'll just parry all the way. Um, but if I can, I'll try to find another way around it, because parrying is not necessarily it's bad, it's just really nice. Oh, Geppetto! Hey, Geppetto. Like this, I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets, after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. Oh, we just got... Oh, cool. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um, there's got to be a spot for us to just be able to, uh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. It's a, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's Geppetto. Some Elden Ring bosses require triple parry. They're pretty cool. Really? I don't even realize that you could parry in, uh, like, I, I don't even realize that you could parry in Elden Ring. Um, good to know that you can. I'll have to go learn how to do that later. Because that would be absolutely massive just for learning how to do it. Um, no, 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 no. The dad is not the mad monkey. I... I actually killed him. The body of the mad monkey is on the ground, I think, over here. No, 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 it disappeared, I think. I think it disappeared. Oh, it's a shield. Oh, it's related directly to Ashes of War. Yeah, never mind. That's why I don't know it. That's why I didn't know it, because I don't specifically... I use two-handed weapons. I don't use single-hand weapons. Yeah, that, that that actually checks out. Yeah, that 100% checks out, actually. Um... So, about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about... If you find any more weapons, weapons let's try using them here. Oh, cool. Uh, switch assemble weapons? Oh, I can just straight up assemble weapons. Oh, cool. Disassemble, equip, switch display. Switch display. Oh, so you can just straight up assemble. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm going to do, though? Since I just went through, like, 
freaking almost two hours of trying to beat the same boss. I'm gonna end it here just because it's also it's getting really late and I should probably get some sleep as well since I did work today. Um, so I'm just gonna I can just chill here for a second. Just, I can go and do the usual shenanigans here. Yeah. For those who are already in the Discord and would like to come into the Discord, there's a link to the Discord. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope, really hope you guys have a great rest of your and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Alright, good night guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna be hacking, messing around on the Minecraft server as much as I can tomorrow. So it's gonna be a hacking ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, you too. Good night guys. Bye-bye.